we are going to trigger his inferiority complex, correct? Yeah, Mark Cromble Weeps. My name is Cole. His name is Mike. His name is Jay. We like anime, and this is episode 97 of the Anime Protagonist Podcast. And it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dun, dun, dun. It's the Sundere Tournament Dark. Baka? Baka? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Babaka. You, you have to, ba- like, study. Uh, study. You, you Baka. Babaka. Babaka. You sussy Baka, you. <laughs> Man, why, we can't even make it like 10 seconds into an episode and we're just ultra cringe already. Like, just. <laughs> it's our brand. We're, we, un- listen, we have two parts of our brand we're Canadian and mm-hmm. we're super cringe. <laughs> we're so cringe. We're so bro. cringe, eh? We're so cringe, bud. Um, oh, I guess I should open Audacity. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Fun uh, fact, I uh, haven't recorded a backup for our past two episodes. M- me neither. <laughs> me neither. Honest. I don't even have Audacity open right Listen, now. We neither are, do I. We are, we, are, we, have, we are flying far too close to the sun here. As, yeah, we've as become, my good friend in Canada, Drake, says YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> we've yeah. become Icarus collectively. Ooh. Yeah. We have become Icarus, and my wings will never melt. Yeah. Uh, it's holiday season up here in Canada as of recording. We're we're uh, we're enjoying uh, Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. So yeah. we're uh, well, Mike and I are enjoying Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> and J- Jay famously famously didn't even realize it was Canadian Thanksgiving, despite really? living in Canada I his whole that. life. Yeah, I don't. I think he said on the Discord today he he forgets about Canadian Thanksgiving until like a week before it's Canadian. Well, I, Thanksgiving. I do too, actually. It's, honestly. I'm, uh, well, for me, like, it's, um, there are two Jewish holidays, like, back to back, like, right before. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. like, we don't celebrate it because it's like, we have two family gatherings that we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, like, it's that. like, we're kind of family gathering out by that yeah. point. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. like when you have, like, your birthday be, like, the end of December. Yeah. Like, right before Christmas. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like a terrible time to have a birthday. Yeah. Because you get yeah. you, you get all your uh, all your presents at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. and like your yeah. parents aren't buying like a ton of presents because like they have to buy basically your birthday and Christmas presents. So That's not basically true. That's not true. That's not true. Mike's making fun of me. My birthday is very close to Christmas, and he uh, people always say that like. Didn't you, did you not get your birthday presents or did you get like one birthday and Christmas present combined? No, I really, oh, okay. have, I just always assumed that's were, how it worked. No, they were two distinct things that have my birthday and then like a week later would be Christmas. Oh, no, no, no. I meant more that like maybe if your birthday was in June, you might've got like a couple extra presents than you maybe would have got if your birthday was in the end of like right around mm-hmm. Christmas. Your birthday is right around Christmas. You asshole. It's true. <laughs> Out of the three of us, I think my birthday is the furthest away from Christmas. It's yeah, no, it is. Yeah. yeah, I'm in January, as, so yes. Yeah, and yeah, as yeah. a winter, as a winter birthday baby, I am jealous of the summer birthday babies because they could have like birthday parties. Yeah, I couldn't have, I couldn't have a birthday party. It'd be like the last day of school before <clears throat> Christmas break would be my birthday. I I remember having like a birthday party when I was like in grade three or four, mm-hmm. and like. Yeah, we were outside all in our little snow suits and like tobogganing and stuff, which is like ultra Canadian. We had a skating rink in our front yard. Like <laughs> that sounds yeah. pretty pretty yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. was mm-hmm. it was a good time, but like sometimes winters up here are like frigid. And there's now as an old man, I don't want to go outside. So like mm-hmm. yeah. you guys are not mm-hmm. invited to my birthday party is kind of the roundabout what I'm getting to here. Because I'm oh, not I'm... having a birthday party. Oh. You're in for a surprise. Hmm. Again, eh? The problem with uh, <laughs> the problem with my, my birthday. Floor. The problem with my birthday is it falls so close to Mother's Day, and sometimes it's on Mother's Day. Oh, so that's trying brutal. to in, so trying to invite people to yeah. uh, your birthday yeah. party. It's like I got Mother's Day plans. It's, yeah. it's brutal having your birthday fall like on or around a holiday. Honestly, mm-hmm. yeah. I say yeah, as I, someone who that has never ever happened to, because I'm middle of January. There's no yeah. holidays there. Yeah. Nothing. Where Nothing. you're just in sad mode. You're yeah. in seasonal effect. I'm just in full, effect. like, yeah, yeah, full seasonal affective disorder mode. Yeah. 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 Basically, the entire uh, month of January is just like Christmas is over. The New Year's already happened. There's January nothing. really is the worst month. It's, it's, yeah. 
either January or February where we are for sure or like the saddest months because like like what are you looking forward to in January 22nd like I mean like New Year's (laughs) Day (laughs) I I think like New Year's Day is probably like the one exception to January being a bad month because like New Year's Day is fun no New Year's Day isn't fun New Year's Day is not fun New Year's Eve is fun okay sure it's a day off but yeah Yeah. in my experience I've had New Year's New Year's days where it's already right one of the worst days of the year. <laughs> yeah. I mean, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve is definitively a better day, but like, I'm not, mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that New New Year's Day is still, or is bad in any means. It's just not. No, as good. I, I know. I agree with you, Jay. I'm just saying I'm generally either tired or hungover or both <laughs> on New Year's Day. Yeah. But like, if you had to Probably go to work both. and like, you're oh, also I like would, celebrating New Year's or New Year's Eve, it, it would be like, um, no, I'm not doing this. No. Mr. So like Robert getting Boyer that Man? day off is like, yeah, this is nice. I, this is for my employer. Just, this is all fictional right here. I'd be <laughs> phoning the heck in. If I had oh, work yeah. New Year's Day. <laughs> yeah. There's no uh, way. I've already booked off because my my holiday time resets at work like January one. Okay. So I've already booked off the first week of January. <laughs> I'm like I'm after because I later. used up all yeah. my holiday time going yeah. to Japan. Mm, yeah. I'm like I need a week to just not. <laughs> yeah. be Honestly, here. The, the staycations are kind of nice sometimes. Like where you yeah, yeah, I miss it. I didn't home. get one this year. Yeah. 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 I just want a week. Just oh, vegging. Woe is Cole. He went to Japan for his no, vacation. I know. I know. Like, oh, so no, but Cole. I mean, I, I don't. Fan. I'm not trying to brag. And I know that that's a first world problem. But you know what I mean? Like, you just want to stay home. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I, the grass I exactly is always greener, about. is basically what I'm saying. Of course, I know. I know that I'm very lucky to have done what I did. Yeah. But no, I, I'm mostly being facetious i genuinely yeah. like love being home it's like my favorite mm-hmm. place i yeah. think this That's podcast why, like, wouldn't exist if there was no spite whatsoever oh and no think- like actually did you guys see uh f- i think frama sent it in the discord they sent like a png that their girlfriend worked on oh, and it, and it was a, sp- a can of spite I, we should I wanted to add an emoji i wanted to ask him if we could use it as an an, an emote in our server oh i'm, man, I'm gonna do yeah. it right now well i guess <laughs> you guys continue the conversation the spite is strong on this podcast well like i spite think i think that us. it's very very um suitable for our brand Oh yeah, no. no when Jay when yeah. Jay complains Jay's about right? when Jay complains about uh, Attack on Titan, he's gonna get inundated <laughs> spite. with spite cans. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where did they post? Or that? when or okay. when one of us uh, when one of us complains about girlfriend girlfriend, we're just gonna get a ton of spite cans from Cole. Nobody's ever gonna complain about girlfriend girlfriend because it is a masterpiece, and I'm so happy it's. Oh, back. I found a clip that I wanted to use in the soundboard, and I completely forgot to add it. I'll have to do it for oh. next week. Be better. Is it a surprise, or can you tell me what the clip is? Um, Sounds. have either of you seen the show The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? Yes. Okay, there's I one episode where Billy's like, um, none of you understand uh, this oh. like I do. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know which one you're talking yeah. about. That was a that was uh, that show was a banger. That show was a banger. That show and Codename Kids Next Door were like my childhood. I love that. I never got into Codename Kids Codenamed Next Door. Codename Kids Next Door slapped so hard. And so when you good. said when you said the uh what was it, Billy and Mandy or whatever? Grim Adventures that, you, of Billy and Mandy. You literally just like like you know like the meme where there's like neurons activating in my brain and like galaxies <laughs> you happening the, you had the jimmy yeah. neutron bl- brain blast yeah that was a br- that was a brain blast from the past right there yeah okay, i haven't thought about that show in probably 15 years i don't mm-hmm. even know if it's been gone that long you know what else you know what else was fire and me and my friend were my my coworker, my work friend were talking about it so I think I was talking about how I was preparing a recipe for for a Thanksgiving dinner when I said, "Well, I'm going to put sugar and spice and everything, and everything nice. nice and a little bit of chemical X in there." Mm-hmm. Powerpuff Girls. That <laughs> yeah. show slapped. That show was really good. Remember when the CW was going to make a live action reboot of it? <sighs> Why do they got to do this to me? It, it was canceled. Well, I'm glad they didn't. It I'm canceled. glad it was yeah. canceled. Yeah. No, that's too far. That is that is Icarus. That, that is would Icarus, have been yes. yeah. That would have been just too like much. them teenagers and very angsty. No, no, thank you. Mm-mm. Nah, I ain't here for that. Speaking of teenagers, what about Teen Titans? Oh, great show. <sighs> that was a good show. Uh, I know Mike wasn't a fan. Why though, Mike? <laughs> I haven't. But it's see, like, uh, it's one of those things mm. where like, it's not that I'm not a fan. 
Mm. No, I guess that's maybe the way to put it. I'm like neutral on Teen Titans. I don't feel like negatively towards it or anything, but there, I always hear people like talk so fondly about it. It's almost mm-hmm. like Cole with One Piece where it's just like, I don't understand it and I getting a, I have a little bit of like FOMO going on like I'm like mm. you know what, what is Michael is all about the, the theme song's a banger though I'll the say the theme that song much. is yeah. a banger a uh, dub or J, Japanese J-U and- hmm? by the way like the oh, English the, the or band? English or yeah. Japanese for the for the OP which one whatever played on uh Teletoon oh well it was, was the seven. English one for, on, yeah. on 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 Cartoon yeah. Network yeah. yeah but like which I, one go, I, I don't think I've ever heard the I don't think I've ever heard the Japanese one I don't think so. I'll have to play uh, Jay, it, you and I got to get the chair out for Michael, and we're going to sit down. We're going to watch Teen, Teen Titans. Titans. Absolutely. Great show. Strap me in, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Strap Michael I'm due in. for a rewatch uh, of that show. I haven't seen it in a long time. Me too. Yeah. Uh, what I was getting at, though, talking about holidays, what's what's your favorite holiday? Ooh. <laughs> what's, Ooh. what's your favorite holiday? You know what? Uh, I do enjoy Thanksgiving. And it's it's topical because... You guys had to wait so long and so patiently for me because as I was having my family's Thanksgiving as we recorded, like right before we recorded this. And I don't mm-hmm. know, there's just something, Thanksgiving's nice. I find that you don't have all the like, there's less, like Christmas, you kind of have like more of like a schedule that you have to adhere to. Like there's mm-hmm. more to it. There's like traditions and stuff like that. Whereas Thanksgiving, I, I kind of vibe with it a little more because it's like basically just like see people that you like, eat some good food. And just kind of have a good time. That's the whole holiday. And like, that's literally all I want to do in life. So Thanksgiving's top tier holiday for me. Thanksgiving's good. I mean, I'm a Christmas guy. I think I Christmas, Christmas is hard to beat. Too. I think yeah. the thing yeah. about Thanksgiving is like, I think because we have it where it is, it's so much better because in the States, they have it in between Halloween and Christmas. So it's yeah. kind of that buffer holiday. I think we talked about yeah. this a while ago. I, I think we have the superior Thanksgiving placement, to be yes. honest with you. Yes. There, this U.S. of A., your, your states, your, your Thanksgiving is just too close to Christmas. And, and like, I don't need yeah. to eat that much turkey. No, it, in it, a I, I, I like our Thanksgiving, too, because it's kind of like it's pre-Halloween. Yeah. You know, like it's not too cold. It's still. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's, but it's not still too hot. Nice. Like you, it's not too hot. It's as sweater someone weather. My oven was on for about eight hours today. Uh-huh. I can't imagine doing that when it was like 30 plus degrees outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would literally be cooking in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> or gitch, as we or call gitch, it here. Yeah. 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 Cooking in your gitch. Cooking in your gitch, eh? Yes. There's, there's a little. Doxing there's a little. Uh, there. Well, no. That's, that's I, local to only our province. No. No. I think they say it in the Midwest, too. Gitch or gotch. Gotch. I think, I think they say gitch in Ontario as well. Yeah. Yeah, Gitch mm. is a... I'll be seeing a, people from Ontario next week, so I'll ask them. Uh, yeah, ask them for sure. I, there was a, uh, Gitch or Gotch? There was a gotch. show on Teletoon. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched it, because it might be a bit too late yes. for you, but it was called 16. And they said oh, Gitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you brought up the other two shows, I was going to bring up 16, because that was my show when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. 16 I was pretty good. I love 16. The mall. Like, they're hanging out at the mall. They're having yeah. a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I love that show growing up, too. And, like, yeah, Giant it's lemon. it's set in Canada. <laughs> Giant lemon. That big um, lemon. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. The, the freaking that. hat that he she had to wear stand. that was just, like, half a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That might be a Canadian only show though. That one. I think it was in or on Cartoon Network, but like it's not I I, I don't think it got the same kind of notoriety. It was kind of like here. it was kind of like the precursor to uh, another show that's Canadian, but I know people in the states watch that Total Drama Island. I think that's like I've the same show. It's uh, well, I I was too old when that came out, but mm. I believe it was kind of the like preamble to it, the, the precursor. Because the animation style looks very similar. I and that one I... is Canadian. What was mm-hmm. the other one you wanted me to Total Drama. Total Drama Island. Also Canadian. Yeah. yeah. I think it's But the I same think studio. Total Drama Island is on in the States too, I think. It's on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You gotta remember though, that's Canadian Netflix as yeah, well. That's true. Right? Canadian yeah. Netflix is different. Canadian this is a Netflix. Heavy, heavy Canadian episode. What, what other hey, holidays do you guys like? We're patriotic. I love Halloween, baby. Halloween's my oh, favorite yeah. holiday. Halloween is 
it's tied with Christmas for me. Halloween is a great like friend holiday. Mm -hmm. I love hanging out with my friends for Mm -hmm. Halloween. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Christmas is is like a family holiday. Yeah, you know, I go Halloween and Thanksgiving. I find to be good friend holidays. Mm -hmm. They're probably the best friend holidays actually, because like you're not getting together with your friends for like. What do you, why does like the rest of the year outside of like October to December have like no good holidays? Uh, because it's, it's, it's we're nice all miserable in, in and <laughs> yeah. the winter and we need holidays to distract yeah. ourselves from the misery. Yeah. See, I, I can't that's relate. Why they put, with isn't like that why Christmas, Christmas is where it is? I, I can't really so. relate with the Christmas stuff. Because oh yeah, right. Yes. Well, Obvious I mean, reasons. yeah, but you but have, like, you have fun holidays yeah, in the yeah. winter. Um, and Hanukkah's like yeah. the same time. Hanukkah's roughly, like right? very, very yeah it's either like overlap with little, christmas or it's like yeah. very close to it um and like i really do like that holiday just because like um the family gathering aspect is very similar mm-hmm. 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 and also potato pancakes are delicious oh potato man. pancakes do potato pancakes are like one of my favorite foods honestly yeah. or latkes as people call them yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. i just didn't know uh, if the listeners or you guys would understand if i said latkes. if we were you didn't know if we were ready for that <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think it's like 50 50 when you ask people like potato pancake or sometimes you're like what and i'm like a latka and they're like oh yeah, yeah that's that's kind of why i want some, to play but sometimes it, yeah. it's the other way too yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah i think if somebody said latka to me i'd, I'd had i'd need clarification to be mm-hmm. honest oh, like a potato pancake yeah 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 it's like when i say like hole up to people they're like what are you saying and i'm like oh it's like a cabbage roll with tomato sauce and i don't like and cabbage rolls no they're they're kind of mid i'm kind of ukrainian like 50, they're 50 mid. On them. yeah i i don't yeah i'm not crazy about them listen, uh listen mm-hmm. there's some foods that exist purely for tradition mm-hmm. and like i've literally thought this before i'm like listen we're not we're not like peasants anymore. Yeah, we don't we need don't, to eat <laughs> you don't rice need to eat. wrapped in cabbage. Like we could eat good things. Yeah. Well, if you put the beef in the cabbage roll, then it's okay. We should yeah. specify because I think we take for granted how many Ukrainian immigrants we have where we are. Yes. What are a cabbage very, roll is. Yes. Yes. Uh, like Mike said, it'd be basically rice wrapped in cabbage. And then you just mm. smother that shit in tomato sauce. <laughs> and then you bake it so that the cabbage is like super soft. And usually you eat it with like sour cream or something. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad, I guess. Honestly, I just, it's, it's, just it's, incredibly it's like the mid. last thing I want yeah. the, the only time I've had a uh, cabbage roll, like the cabbage was like super mushy and it just like felt gross. That's no, that's, that's tradition. That's how it's supposed yeah. to be. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the so thing. Like, it's like a casserole, really. <laughs> yeah. Jay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> You know what's worse than a uh, a very like overly mushy and soft cabbage roll where the a cabbage very is too soft? Cabbage roll? Yeah. Where the cabbage is very tough and hard to chew. Yeah, mm, that's, that's when worse. it's that's <laughs> when it's good. I, I believe it. Um, that's yeah. when the when you know the fiber is is flowing through you. If we're going into like holiday food, uh, brisket is uh, oh. Mm. Oh, see yeah. brisket. That's, Brisket's, that's I've never done this. No, this that's Jew, specific. It's, it's, it's Jewish a, thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a Jewish thing. But like, I'm jealous, I though. think I think I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm here for it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna petition the uh, the rest of the Western world to take on brisket as Look, a holiday let, food. Let me, I want to explain me, to the listeners because we explained hold up cheese slash cabbage rolls. Can you explain what brisket is? Because yeah, when you first said this to me, I pictured like a smoked brisket, like Southern Texas barbecue yeah, style. Yeah, no, it's kind of like, it it's more like a roast. So like we put in like a crock pot with like, um, like potatoes and carrots and things like that. Mm. And then just kind of like let it mm. cook in there for like hours. Literally, mm. you could... My do, mouth waters. Yeah. <laughs> put yeah. any kind of meat in a crock pot with some assorted vegetables for mm. hours. Delicious. Mm. Yeah. Like, has it ever gone wrong? So let me take you around the plate at like a, my, my family's <laughs> oh. typical Hanukkah meal because like okay. there's, we there's got some Jay good food Bourdain there. on the podcast today. <laughs> so, so we've got, uh, we've got brisket. We've got. I love it. Um, Lahayim. We've got um, potato pancakes or Mazel tov. Mazel tov. <laughs> we've got, uh, we've got a salad. We'll have like a, uh, a salad. Just like a, you know. <laughs> Um, we'll have meatballs. Oh, you know what? Meatballs are like an underrated. Okay, here's the thing though the, with meatballs. Meatballs. Are we going mm-hmm. sweet and sour meatballs or are we going with the mushroom soup gravy meatballs? It depends on the on which one my uncle decides to make because like, okay. Which my, do you prefer? Yeah, you, you roll up. Let's say like, which one are you disappointed to see and which one are you excited? Happy oh, they're both like, good. I'm, you not know dis- they're, I'm not disappointed in either true. one, but which that's one true. are you? Which one are you like? Yes. Sweet and sour is really answer. good. What was the other one you mentioned? The mushroom soup. Mushroom gravy. Mushroom gravy. 
Mm. Yeah. Like a creamy, creamy mushroom gravy. Or I guess you could go gravy, just straight up like brown gravy. Yeah. Which I, I, we found out at the watch party this week, Mike, I didn't know that brown gravy is not like everywhere. Yeah. There's like a white gravy. Yeah. There's like a, yeah. It's it's basically just like, uh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say like personally sweet and sour, but like I could see an argument for the other one. Mm. Mm. I'm a mushroom boy. Yeah, I'm a yeah. mushroom man. Yeah. I love anything creamy. I love mushrooms and like you throw some meatballs in there. I've I've cool. always been more of a fan of the savory as opposed to the sweet. Same. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. I like the but sweet and sour has a special place in my heart. Too. That's kind of where I'm at. Like I'm kind of I, I kind of like the like combination of sweet and savory together rather than just like savory mm. on savory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, yeah. I love the feeling when you're done that big Christmas meal and you just want to go for a nap. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. As someone who Jay- ate way too much about two hours ago, yes, I, I feel you, my boy. <laughs> Jay, I'm sorry. We, we stopped no, you at, no, uh, yes, at the, yes. at the keep, meatballs. Keep going. So, so, yeah. so the last thing on the plate that I'll have on the plate, there's probably like some other stuff that I don't have, but like um, someone also makes orzo. Uh, which orzo. if you don't know what orzo is, it's basically like a rice like pasta. Oh yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. Um that also might have like peas and carrots in there, like little dice. Mm-hmm. So it's kinda like a carrots. pasta salad they would make then? It's not it's warm though. So like it's not really a salad. It's just kinda like a warm, sauceless pasta. Interesting. Okay. But it's okay. really good. Now Mike, take me take me around the plate that you had. The the not, pizza that I've prepared for my family. Just yeah, not but 20 minutes ago. Uh, okay, so I... <clears throat> I cooked choked for up. my family <laughs> a roasted turkey. Ooh. The key to turkey, by the way, if you want to make a good turkey, you got to brine it. you got to brine that. The, the bird let is me dry tell you. on his own. And Cole, let me you tell can you boys for my bird. Mike can cook a mean bird. Yes. I'll have to like, honestly, Mike, here's, 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 my, here's my compliment to you. The best turkey. I like, thank you. I appreciate it. I like, heard that just not but twenty minutes ago as well. I, I make a I, mean bird. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see my family this weekend, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna have some dry ass turkey. And then I know at the end, the the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Michael's turkey is waiting yep. for me. That's right. Monday, <laughs> Jay can have some of my turkey too if he so chooses. If he so chooses, we'll talk yes. about this off air. Yes, we'll, we'll talk about it off air. Yes. Uh, yeah, turkey. I made uh, <laughs> meat, Swedish meatballs, which is essentially, if you really think about it, m- mushroom gravy meatballs yeah. with a mm-hmm. creamy mushroomy yeah. sauce. Yeah, with a little bit of extra seasoning in there. And then I made mashed potatoes. Classic. Nice. Gotta have the mashed yeah. potatoes. Gotta have. Mash. Gotta have, yeah. gotta have uh, mash. What else did I have there? I made roasted balsamic glazed Brussels sprouts with bacon. Ooh. A little okay, bit of a little bit of a wild card for the Thanksgiving feast, but that's my own fancy twist. Fancy boy. Yeah, some green beans. Didn't do the green bean casserole. I'm not a casserole boy. I like a green bean casserole. Green beans are okay. Green beans are... It's, green beans like, yeah, are good. It's, I, it was the last thing I made, and my dad was like, who cares about green beans? And I'm like, no, you're right. I, you're valid. It's valid what you've you just, just said. You got to throw some it's color kinda in like, there It's kind of like that filler food that's like, well, we got to have something else on the table. You got to have like, some veggies, I, mean, gotta have I guess. You got to have some, yeah, but nobody's you gotta like. got to have some color. It's not nobody's yeah. walking Brown. up to the smorgasbord and is like, ooh, <laughs> green beans. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> With like the like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but they, they're not bad. Like, they're good, but they're yeah. not fine. They're not what you're. We put that against meatballs and like all the other and mashed potatoes. Like, yeah, yeah. get Come out of on. here. Yeah, uh, salad. My mom, uh, I tasked her with making a fresh loaf of sourdough bread because she Ooh, makes so incredible you're say bread. A fresh loaf of salad. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> no, that was my sister's duty. She made salad for us as well as made like a broccoli, broccoli and rice casserole. <laughs> broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. <laughs> yeah. What? What's broccoli, Michael? It's a place know. that makes uh, the first gym leader from Pokemon. <laughs> but like clones of him it's like a fusion of brock and whitney <laughs> uh, you guys are going over it's my too head deep here. of the pokemon lore <laughs> yeah yeah uh brains blanket oh stuffing as well i, uh, I love stuffing Ah, uh, stuffing's okay i love it i come on it's bread yeah fat and seasoning I mean, what's not to like that that's celery <laughs> and onion, but yes, that's the one thing I'm, I'm, I'm upset about. I rarely get to eat stuffing, but every time yes. I've had it, it's you good. like stuffing though. I okay. do like it, 
But like, I yeah. rarely get to have it because I'm never at like Christmas things or or anything. Yeah, if you're not so. having a bird, I mean, there's yeah. no stuffing. I like guess bo- you could do stovetop stuffing. Yeah, a yeah. box of stovetop stuffing is like a dollar. Like, and it's yeah. super easy to make. Yeah, it's but like, I mean, water. if you're not if you're not doing it for like the occasion, then it's just kind of lame. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of true. It's, it's kind of <laughs> that'd be depressing eating just a box of stovetop stuffing on its own for no reason mm. <laughs> other than like mm. you want it. Though, yeah. 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 Well, actually you kind of need the gravy too with stuffing because stuffing well, on its I mean, own is, you, I feel like the stuffing the point of the stuffing is to just soak up the juices of all the other like all the other sauces yeah mm-hmm. you're not you're not that's not the, on its own the yeah. stuffing truly is the hot pot of the meal if you will yeah just soaks yeah. everything up it's yeah. just there yeah. it's and just, it tastes good at the end yeah mm-hmm. it's well I mean it's literally just basically bread bread it's bread that's been sitting it's, in, yeah. in bird it's fat for, bread. Do, you, yeah. <laughs> do you put cranberry sauce on your uh, turkey i've heard that that's a thing that people so do. no my dad does he loves it but i've never his, done it like he, he has like yes. a bowl of cranberry sauce in front of him yes okay and and gravy he goes so, with both oh both so i yeah sweet and savory like for, jay yeah for this meal i did purchase the can of cranberry sauce mm-hmm. and i literally held it up in front of my family and like and i was like i have bought this does anyone want me to open it and they said no <laughs> let's open it let's open it on monday we'll have it on monday just because <laughs> it was like it's like a dollar 50 i was like i might as well i'm spending like 40 dollars on this dang turkey i mm-hmm. might as well buy the cranberry sauce yeah yeah but i'm not opening it if no I one's gonna eat it but here's the thing like if you got a good turkey i think the cranberry sauce is basically just to choke so you can choke, choke down, down that turkey, turkey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're, you're probably not wrong you need the good gravy and the cranberry sauce to yeah choke down <laughs> so at my family dinners often we'll have we'll have the selection of meat we'll have either turkey or ham Tur- ham's guys, always good where yeah. are you guys going where are you guys going I don't go for the ham. I'm not a ham guy. No, I love ham. Man. I've I, I I've had roast ham once, and I think I've told you guys the exact time that I was having. Oh it. yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Jay's never had roast ham. No, um, I've oh, had it ham. once, and I told you guys when I was having it. Cole, because I think you talk picture. about. Yeah, what do we talk about in the watch party with peaches? Uh, what oh, we, what the. Did, uh, uh, what, what we like about? free free bread at restaurants. Oh yeah, how do you feel about free be- bread at restaurants, Jay? It depends on the bread. If it's just like regular bread, then that's lame. But if it's like garlic bread, then like yeah, sure, I'll take it. Yeah, no, we were joking that like it w- you were gonna say I've actually never had free <laughs> bread at a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, I've been to Olive Garden. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, Olive Garden. <laughs> the breadsticks. I, I'm sure by the time this comes out, Peaches will have posted their tier list of. Uh, restaurant bread. oh yeah right yes yeah. i'm excited to see that yeah, yeah. and i Which think olive garden was near the top of that yeah validly yeah by Come the way on. did you guys have fun at that watch party i wasn't able to make it unfortunately it was but. a good one our watch parties have been killer actually this so far yeah. i'm glad we yeah. brought them back yeah yeah, yeah. and if you want to so join our watch parties come join our discord yes yeah. oh yeah our discord yeah do you guys want to start this episode though Oh yeah, we're recording a podcast. Yeah, we should probably like actually like move on. Well, no, and get you're ready to... finish your your Thanksgiving. Take me around your plate, Cole. Oh, yeah. my plate. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you started and you didn't finish. We, we derailed. Well, no, I was. You the, I was just going cranberry with sauce the... to soak down the dry ass turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, honestly, I'll skip the turkey. If there's ham there, I'm just not. I'll I'll just go for the ham. If you, if you know it's a bad turkey, oh man, it's not I love move. my mom. She's a good cook, but god damn dry dry ass turkeys jesus help me cole i'm I'm trying i'm exerting so much restraint not making the joke that you know i want to make (laughs) (laughs) what i don't know which joke you want to make (laughs) tell me off air yeah Yeah, uh um yeah mashed potatoes one thing that nobody else here mentioned was uh mashed we'll do mashed turnip and carrots Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but that's, that's always very good too. That's good because it's a little sweet. And yes. Yeah. Or I, I, in the south they do sweet potato, sweet potatoes, or sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. Or I've, I've heard sweet potatoes. Whatever. I've never heard carrot and turnips though. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Carrots. Carrots. I feel is more normal. I feel like turnip is especially Thanksgivingy for some. Yeah. They'll mix. Uh, my family will mix them together actually. <clears throat> yeah. So it's mm-hmm. carrot 
oats and turnips mixed it's together. It's kind of just like it's usually with like brown sugar and like yeah. butter. It's, it's like kind of just like it's like a sweet, sweet mashed potato kind yeah. of, okay. and it's yeah. orange. I can get on board for that. Another mush for your plate, basically. Yeah. yeah. We we have wild rice casserole. Oh, Ooh, that's a local wild thing. Rice. Though. Yeah. Oh, wild rice is so good. Wild rice is so good. Yeah. So good. Then then we put bacon in it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, is yeah, there a single thing on earth that bacon doesn't make better? No, nothing. Uh, bacon wrapped cake. Well, I don't probably, know. See, it'd probably be good. Like, Even then, a, I'm sure that there's a way to do it. I mean, yeah, they make like do bacon it. donuts. They also yeah. do make like, yeah, they do make like um, glazed bacon. You know, like mm-hmm. sugar glazed bacon. Yeah. I'll glaze yeah. your bacon. Oh. <laughs> we'll talk about that off air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the green bean casserole. That's good. I'm a I'm a fan of uh, meat bulbs, pierogies. Mm-hmm. Pierogies, pierogies big up here. those are local as well. Sort those of. are really good. Well, I mean, what people... kind of pierogi, Cole? No, because I've legitimately like listened to like I listened to the Around the NFL podcast a lot, and there was like an episode where I distinctly remember them talking about pierogies and like, what even are they? Like they were like it was like this mythical creature to them. <laughs> really? Where, which yeah. is weird because they're like an everyday food here for. Oh, God, yeah. Area. Like you go to the grocery store and there's like a whole section on per, of like frozen pierogies. Yeah. Think like a like a more doughy dumpling with like a cheesy potato, mashed potato filling basically. Is basically They're so good. Is. And you just basically like boil it and then you put it in butter and onions, like kind of like caramelized onions and it's yeah. serve, have it with sour cream and it's like one of the best things on earth. It's, it's so fantastic. good. Yeah. Put some bacon in, in, the, in oh. the dumpling. Oh. Oh yeah, oh, or yeah. even just have bacon with it. It's just yeah. it's made to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, pierogies, meat bulbs, meat bulbs mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. the with the uh, mushroom soup gravy. The, the nice thing too with uh, the meat bulbs is mm-hmm. you know they're never bad. Never. It's pretty yeah. hard to make a bad meat bulb. Whereas like the <laughs> ham and turkey is like universally and most I've of the time a, it's I've dry. Had, I've had Most a time. questionable ham. I've had yeah. many questionable turkeys. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Meat bulbs. <laughs> Honestly, Dang. though, I, I know yeah, that I this sounds wrong. weird, but there's like mm. some kind of comfort in having that dry turkey. Oh, I mean, sure. Yeah, like there's some nostalgic yeah. nostalgia mm-hmm. to it. Uh, thinking about it is better than ingesting it, though. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Because <laughs> yeah. like. I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, that reminds me of like going to my grandma's, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And then like, I remember now that Jay put that in like my brain, I'm like thinking of the time, how many times I sat there trying to like <laughs> chew, 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 chew and like my mouth is running out of like saliva as it's I'm like trying sand. to sand. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it's like eating like 14 Ritz crackers at once. <laughs> Do the salt and, and my, challenge. Yeah. And my mom, uh, she'd make like this uh, noodle salad thing. Your so mom's noodle salad, as someone who went over there a lot during high school, that thing hits, man. It's like a, a ramen hit. noodle salad. Michael, I, Michael, you're in for a treat on Monday. Oh, we got close. Is he bring noodle salad? <laughs> That's, noodle I've salad. prepared it. It's outside in my living room, in my kitchen right now. I've made it already. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, mailbag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time for the mailbag. Uh, mailbag time. If you want to give us your mailbags, please send them in. You can do that on Discord or uh, on the website. Did we ever check if that link worked? I sure uh, hope it does. Yeah, anypropod.com slash mailbag. I'll check if it works right now. Let's check it out. But first, let's check this patron priority mailbag wee woo wee woo from Super Mexi. Uh, he wants to know what is your favorite slash best 12 episode or less anime? Only count the 12 episodes or less. Don't group in sequels or movies. So 12 episodes or less for an anime. What okay. is the best one? Probably Rent a Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, definitely not. So is he not. saying like you, it can be a show that has a sequel in a movie, but like you can only count the 12 episode thing? I guess I'm, you I'm, can. How but I, I interpret that is like the first 12 episodes. Well, honestly, I, I, I think that sequels should disqualify it from... That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, that's how I would have looked at like it Like 12 too. episodes, it's a standalone thing. Mm-hmm. You either like it 
as a 12 episode or you continue to like it post 12 episodes but mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. i am looking over my list oh that's what i i went to as well uh i mean one of oh oh duh, duh. Yeah, i mean duh 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 doy oh, hello da-doy. bochi the rock come on yeah. guys i love bochi are, are you gonna buy the manga when it comes out on the 17th I've only been sending it to you guy. all the time. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Who does he think he's talking to? Of course I'm going to buy the manga when it comes out on the 17th of October here in English. Good. Of course I am. Mm. Uh, Bochi, I'll also go Land of the Lustrous. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Fantastic so watch. Good. One of our first yeah. reviews. It's probably mm-hmm. I, it's buried yeah. deep in our roster right now. Uh, I have a couple that I can quickly say as well. Please yeah. do. I would like to throw out a little anime called... Devilman Crybaby. Oh, that's, that's a, a fantastic one. 10 episodes. If mm-hmm. you can stomach it. it, I it's I like a lot of anime that are, it's I'd say it's like valid to like mm-hmm. be uncomfortable watching or not like I could see why people wouldn't like it. And Devilman yeah. Crybaby certainly in that category. And another one that's in that category is Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Yes. If you weren't going to say it, I was. But no. oh, that hurts me. Like no. I still I still get that song on my TikTok, and every time this this David and Lucy song comes up, I still want to weep. He weeps, and this is we're talking like I watched that like a year ago at least. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking That's of rewatching powerful. it to be honest. Yeah, I yeah. completely forgot about that show. I'm going to be honest, but you didn't like you. I didn't, you didn't like vibe it with it. So I didn't yeah, like it, but I think that that's, that's a fair. testament to how much I didn't care for the show. It just like I completely forgot about it. Like if you if someone were to ask me like what happens in episode three or like what happens in like the first half I'd be like I don't remember yeah I, good I, stuff it was one of those ones where you either loved it or you just kind of like didn't care about it yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. um for you, me I think like a couple a couple twelve episode shows uh Anohana um, oh yeah I yeah. recommended that to my barber the other day actually. That's an odd sentence. Yeah, that's a very odd person to recommend anime to. He might listen to this podcast, actually, because I, I made a mention that we have a podcast. Oh. Mm. And well, then. I mentioned Anohana, and he was like, oh, my. it's it's so good. I, I, it's just so sad, though. <laughs> it's not sad. Well, it's not really sad. It's emotional, for sure. Okay. But I think sad is... Mm. This is a, well, this is kind of Cole's hill that he dies on, where it's like mm. people say it's sad, but really it just is another way to you're say just, emotional. It's yeah. emotional. Yes. 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 When you're, you're, you're emotional, right. that doesn't mean you're sad. Just because just you're means. crying doesn't mean you're sad. Mm-hmm. Sometimes there's ha- they're happy tears. Sometimes, sometimes you're cutting onions. Some, sometimes you're cutting onions and you feel bad for them. Yeah, uh, I have two more onions. Ogres are like onions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they have like layers. Onions. They're they, they have, have layers. layers. Okay. Yeah. 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 Jay, I'm sorry. Keep no, going. that's okay. Uh, two more. Just gonna quickly throw out. Uh, Bacano is really good. Uh, mm. Great 12 episode show. Would highly recommend it. Um, especially I, like, I have almost made us review Bacano several times. Now. It was almost um, my pick for the listener's choice, but mm-hmm. I was like, I kind of want to go for like something a bit more spoopy, a bit more fun and spoopy. And you went yeah. for the good choice. By the way, w- go watch High School of the Dead. We're watching that. Yeah, yeah, go watch High School. I think, hey, that's Dead. another twelve that episode week. show. Yeah, maybe we like it. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out we'll soon, find out. soonish, eventually. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one I wanted to mention, and I don't think either of you have seen it, is just because I love no, that show. No, no this I've is only this seen... is similar to Guilty Crown in the Jay's pantheon of shows, where it's kind of like I think it's a ten. You gave it a ten out of ten, correct? See, the difference between that show and Guilty Crown is Guilty Crown. I watched when I was a kid, just because I watched like maybe two, three years ago. Mm, okay, so it's a more just. It's probably a more accurate ten out of yeah, ten. Yeah, I. Th- so the thing I love so much about it is like the intercharacter uh, um, relations, relation relationships and interactions is just so well done. Um, like how they inter- how they talk to each other, the dialogue, how they interact, how they bounce off each other, and how their feelings and and like things change based on things that happen. It's not really like super plot driven, but like it just like plops like I think it's like eight teenagers into like in, in into a story and just says go, and they all interact with each other. Go, no, go. I. I- 
because of your hype for it, Jay, I kind of want to check it out too. Mm-hmm. I have a, a sneaky feel like it's maybe not my cup of tea, but I it's one of those things where it's like I want to see what uh, what the hype's all about. Yeah, want to see what want to see what Jay what Jay's doing. What a little what insight into Jay's it's Jay also, Alien's brain. It, over it's there. also written by uh, Hajime Kamoshida, who wrote. Um, oh, I mean, yeah, of course. Who wrote uh, Rascal Does Not Dream Bunny Girl Senpai? So I'm oh. Really like, oh. <laughs> Speaking of twelve episode anime that Jay really likes, but there's a movie. There there are three movies, so I can't. But it says we... not. It, it just says not counting the movies after. So yeah, you say the first twelve yeah. episodes. On but their Jay own? and I. Jay and I are, are on the same page that if there is a movie or 12 episodes then it disqualifies yeah. oh, then, then it's saying. a whole yeah. franchise right? a, yeah. 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 yeah you want um, that, we want a nice tight 12 epi- 12 mm-hmm. episodes toit so toit well I got one for you okay if Jay's, if Jay's done yep you got more uh, nope. I have no more in fact I'm ready for the next question okay. but if you my have last one, one I'm going to throw out is a little anime that I've also thought about making us review. Mm. And you guys used to guess it every time that I would be suggesting an anime for us to review. Uh, and it's Death Parade. 12 yeah. episodes, oh. fantastic, tight little story, very yeah. well contained, very fantastic OP. Just, uh, it's just a fun time all the way through. It's, it's a simple story, but it's tight. It's good. It's so it's simple. Toit. It's toit. We'll watch it one yeah. day. We'll watch it one day. What about our next mailbag question from, uh, oh no, he's a priority p- mailbag too. I forgot. Oh, oh no. yeah. Oh yeah. no. Oh no. Kratos gives well, us money. Well, they can have two. We can have two patron priority mail. Yeah, sure. He yeah. was next up. So, yeah. uh, Kratos, I uh, we 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 patron priority mail bag. Mail bag. We have a double patron priority mail bag. Mail bag. Uh, from tribal chief of the mail bag, Kratos, uh, as, okay, I picked this one out and I, I've kind of sewered myself as the biggest Star Wars fan that is a host of a podcast. I would like to hear Cole's thoughts on Ahsoka <laughs> seeing as the season just ended. Well, Cole, me and, Cole, well, me and Jay won't talk and you can give your yeah, thoughts on Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Well, Kratos, I, 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 I regret to inform you that I have seen as much of the show show as Mike and Jay have uh, <laughs> which is to say none well no I probably know more about the show than Mike and Jay do my issue with modern Star Wars TV now that uh, uh, what's his name the floor is yours Filoni Just let her rip Filoni is is kind of taken and taken taken away off with his with his uh, stuff Guy's like name a, rhymes with baloney. You know, it's Ahsoka is like his his golden goose, his golden child. So he wants to prop her up as like the super ultimate greatest thing of all time. Like basically the and modern Luke Skywalker. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm a purist. You know, I'm a George Lucas purist. I I'm not here for it anymore. I don't care for Ezra. I don't care for Ahsoka. Well, Ahsoka, I guess she kind of like. In the Venn diagram of Disney versus George Lucas Star Wars, she's kind of kind of overlap. Middle. Yeah, because yeah. she was I in mean, Clone Wars. Clone Wars started when George yeah. Lucas was still yeah the guy. Uh, but yeah, I don't care about like the rebel stuff that's going on, and I do like that they brought Thrawn in, which is cool. Like mm-hmm. live action Thrawn, that's sweet. Uh, but I don't know, Thrawn is. I hope they. I hope they do it right. Well, Thrawn was Thrawn, created under George Lucas's banner, right? Like mm-hmm. again, yeah. he, but then he got he got decanonized because and then he got of brought Disney. back in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the key thing with Thrawn is Thrawn can't lose. That's important. Thrawn mm-hmm. doesn't like in the original books. Thrawn doesn't lose. He gets kind of backstabbed, and that's how. That's how he's defeated. Like he he's smarter than everybody else. The, well, the rebels like his, yeah that's his whole thing right he's never beaten he just kind of loses due to circumstance and yeah. hubris i guess so I, mm. i've been keeping up with the audiobooks on thrawn and he hasn't mm. that hasn't happened yet in the current canon mm-hmm. but yeah it's kind of setting up that way yeah that, uh, that he's gonna basically the empire is gonna turn against him here's the thing though mike because the the ones that the ones that you're reading they're they're currently canonical and we know that Thrawn won't meet his demise in those, right? Because he's currently in Ahsoka, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Well, and the number one reason is the moolah. Scratch. And the yeah. moolah. But Mike, yeah. I do, I, I, I insist, please go listen to the original Thrawn audiobooks. 
the uh, the Thrawn trilogy mm-hmm. that was written back mm-hmm. in the 90s. It's I'm sure they're just as good. It's actually the same author. They brought him back to to write the new Thrawn ones. I'm sure it's like roughly the same story too. Mm-hmm. It's just like it it's open. There's no yeah. there's no tie in to like an actual like TV show that's going on. Mm-hmm. So and you know what? Like I'm not really the biggest like canon stickler anyway so it mm-hmm. probably I'd, i'm sure i'd enjoy it honestly no yeah i yeah. i would i would suggest it i think you would like it uh so what are my thoughts on ahsoka from what i've seen pretty mid <laughs> <laughs> yeah a pretty mid tbh yeah. uh yeah i don't know everything i've seen coming out of star wars lately has just been not great Obi Wan was. I, I think the Obi-Wan final was battle in Obi Wan was like really fun. Yeah, but like I think yeah, the, but that's people forget about, like people forget like the bad things like the whole yeah. Leia chase scene in Episode One, the whole like Darth Vader just like letting Obi Wan go for mm-hmm. no reason. Yeah, no, like I mean, that was the one thing that I can say I enjoyed from that show. Yeah, but it was yeah. cool. Yeah, Hayden Christensen being in it was cool. Uh, sorry, I, 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 this isn't about dumping on Star Wars, which is my favorite pastime. As if, here's the thing: if Cole likes something, his favorite thing to do is to either trash it or praise it, so, or put it up his butt, or, or put, put it up, up his butt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, here's here's a testament to show how much Cole despises modern Star Wars. Mm. Cole normally lot, shoves lately. things up his butt. But the fact mm-hmm. that he's saying he wants to dump on it and like yeah. brings, takes takes stuff out of his butt, yep. <laughs> shows <laughs> that he really doesn't like Star Wars. Right I don't even now. know what to, I don't even know what to say to that. I, uh, I think, I think it's go time. For, break. I yeah. think it's time for yeah. a break. To be I honest, think I, after that wild dump on us there, that's yeah, after that wild uh, crazy time, it, I think it's time for an um, break. Oh, he's a <laughs> bass player for Rush, man. <laughs> Greatest rock band of all time. Welcome back to the Anime Protagonist Podcast. Uh, we are here to discuss We're something here. very... Shut up. Ain't Shut going up, nowhere. Michael. We're already here. We're here I'm going to home. discuss something very important. I brought this up before on an earlier episode. I found my Star Wars pin collection, guys. Oh, I found my pin yay. collection. Nice. I found it. Look, look at all We were just pins. talking about how old you are. Look at all these pins. Yeah, behind your back. Look at them. Look at all these pins. No, we're talking about sundares, guys. Oh, sundares. Nice. I like sundares. Oh, what's I a sundare? Love, everybody loves sundares. Jay, can you tell me what a sundare is? A sundare is a girl that is, or a boy, that is uh, very... She's not a sundare. She's not a sundare. Um, she's sometimes cold and uh, harsh towards you. But uh, at other times, she's very sweet and loving. Mm. It's not a sundere. <laughs> not a sundere. Uh, no. I might have misunderstood the assignment. Oh. Oh, no. You know who well, is we got a sundere? Our... Who? Uh, all these characters that are in the tournament that we're doing. That's oh, true. Yeah. We've, got some, we've even got some gentlemen sundares. Yes. But I understand, Jay, you, you told me before we started recording that you, uh, you put a, a call out to our Discord. Yes. And I would so, very much like you to tell me what that's about. So I put a call where you out. Get off, where you get off thinking that you can hijack my show with your <laughs> Discord questions. Um, excuse me, it's our show, <laughs> the truth comes out. The truth comes out. It's Do you not know, show. Jay, that Cole is the progenitor of I this podcast? I am the podcast? progenitor of this podcast. I'll Cole, have, have you a, know. Cole, I have a very important question for you. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. who came up with the name? Ah, yeah. uh, that is true. He did come yeah. up with the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's exactly. always that over me. Hey. Who who wasn't even a host for as many episodes as you guys? Jay, That's do you right. hear somebody hey. talking? No. Do you hear? No. I'm just a no. little baby. Let no. me just sit over here with my K-pop and my my cool vibes. Mike, come I'll... rolling in and fall off your chair again. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jay, break your chair again. 
Wow. 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 There's a lot of animosity here between yeah. the two of yeah. you, and I love it. <laughs> Cole, the, you, need, the you dro- have a chair-related incident soon. I, yeah. Uh, overdue. Oh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> no, it has to be organic. Yeah, it has to be, like, soon to raise. Soon, soon to raise. raise. Um, soon so, to yeah, raise. I put out a call Obaka. on uh, Discord and Twitter asking people uh, what are their favorite soon to raise, and I got some answers. So let's read them out. Stunning. Let's. Our community's that. been like, while you're loading it up, our community's been like hitting lately. So I just want to say thank you to like everybody in our Discord and our like all of our social media and stuff for like participating in like our watch parties and Jay's tournaments and everything like that. Like it feels lame to say it, but like it really does like make us feel all really good to see like people interacting yeah. with us in this stupid it, little podcast that we It created, gives so. me the warm and the yeah. fuzzies. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep it up. I know, you guys are great. I know I'm not in the Discord as often as I should be. But I'm I'm there because Cole's an important He's always man watching. with an important just life. Cole, no, Cole's I'm always just, watching. I I get distracted. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to come up with an excuse. <laughs> I just get distracted sometimes, and I forget to respond to things. Uh, but I'm watching. I'm watching He's the people. Always watching. He's always watching as he like creeps back into the bushes behind him, like Homer Simpson. Put the mm-hmm. gif in here, Mike. <laughs> no. Well, it's right there. I see it. Talking. What gif are you talking about? You'll see. You'll see. Like the the Homer Simpson see. fading into the bushes gif? Mm, okay. Um. Anyway, thank you for uh, all your submissions. We got quite a few. So let's get through them real quickly, starting with Frama in our Discord. Thank you so much. Um, Patron. Saying, I mean, Mike had the best answer for this already, Prince Vegeta. Uh, and then also followed mm-hmm. up saying, if I can't pick that one... Kei Tsukishima from Haikyuu. That one scene where he shows some emotion for doing the thing, chef's kiss, and then immediately all his teammates lose their minds. I don't know what... What? <laughs> sure I had to Google which one that is, because I haven't watched Haikyuu in a long time. Oh, He's yes, the guy with the glasses? Yes, yes. The guy with the, the glasses. The tall guy? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yep, yeah, that's a good answer. He's like... Yeah. He's touching the line of Sundere, I'd say. Yeah, so, like, I mean, he's, he's like not hostile. Like he doesn't have the hostile that he's a little too cool. No, I think he does have that bit of hostility maybe, toward maybe uh, it's Hinata. just like maybe it's faded in my memory then. Like I don't think he's hostile toward everyone, but like toward Hinata, he definitely has that like tsundere attitude. Okay, Mike just doesn't want to admit he's a tsundere because he wears glasses. <laughs> it's true. I yeah. am a tsundere. I'm the best tsundere. No, not you. The character wears glasses, oh, so you don't want to admit yeah. he's a. Yeah. That too. Mike. That too. Yeah. 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 But Prince Mike, Vegeta, though? Who nominated really? that guy? Whoever did that? I don't know. Moving I don't on. Know. Some loser. Next. Anyway, uh, this Next. one comes from Bunny, uh, mod in our Discord, mm. yes. um, saying, Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, and post a gif, Lady Urza oh. Scarlet from Fairy Tale. That's cool. Who's uh. the next one? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I I no. know nothing about fairy tale. I mean no spite towards. Honestly, just, um, fairy tale is just like a blank space in my brain. I, just, I wouldn't really call Urza a tsundere. Honestly, like she's my best girl from fairy tale. Um, but I I wouldn't. I don't think she's really a tsundere. Still a good girl though. The next one is absolutely a tsundere and a fantastic one. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, next up, uh, from Peach with Love. Uh, since Fram already said Tsukishima, I'm going to say another blonde boy, Bakugo. My boy. My academia. Bakugo. That's fantastic. Yeah. I should have I should have nominated him for this tournament. Can I do that? I'm going to nominate nope. him right now. No. Nope. Okay. No, no, I can't. I can't. No, I can't. No, no. Nominations it's have already been inputted. And no. have the fun police is here. I can't do it. Yep. I'm sorry, listeners. Yep. I'm sorry. No, sorry. You're sorry. under arrest for trying to have fun. Yep. 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 Your sentence? Death. Have it. <laughs> <laughs> can my sentence can I get like can I apply for parole, but like I have to be on like an anime podcast once a week with like two jerks? Two idiots. Two yeah. idiots, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's Absolutely your punishment. Can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, Jay's punishment is ending and is reading an endless list of tsundere's. <laughs> <laughs> and it I ends mean, with just yeah. like a bunch of PS5 prices repeated. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yes. like stop with that? I th- never. I no, feel like no, no, no. That joke ha- it no. has transcended. So that I feel now. like I feel like people it's don't even know what they, what we're talking that, about when we talk good. about the PS5 prices. That was like episode like forty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're like episode ninety-seven. Yeah. 
I, I don't want them to know. I want them to be no. forever yeah. confused and scared. I think that's it. a short on our channel es- where I'm doing Especially scared. I want them so scared. <laughs> no, I want them so scared. It is spooky season. Yeah. True, true, true. Um, continuing on, because I don't want to do this forever. Uh, from Thray Walsh, uh, Kaname Chidori from Full Metal Panic, my candidate for most justifiable Cinderay behavior. Yeah, I could see that. Um, yeah, I, sure. I think the stuff Why that's Why most Sosuke... justifiable? Why? Well, I mean, Sosuke's antics are very, um, yeah, they can be pretty... Rage-inducing? Rage-inducing, yeah. Okay. But also, I haven't like, seen Full Metal, so I... I can't you should, Mike. You should. I should. It's I good. Know I'd like it. Like it. It's yeah. really good. Um, yeah, no, I could see that. I think that, like, yeah, it has that, it has that vibe of, like, justifiable. She can be angry, but she can also be lovable. Mm-hmm. She can be angry. Yeah. You know, this next one is a is an excellent, excellent mm-hmm. Sundere. Absolutely. Top tier, Top Absolutely. tier honestly. Uh from Super Mexi, uh another another patron, uh presents a gif of Rin Tosaka from Fate Stay Night. And let's just say it, it's it's a good gif of Rin. It's the best gif of Reen. We see all of her her uh, her moods. Mm-hmm. Reen's yeah. so good, Reen's, guys. Reen is really tier. good. Yeah, yeah. Reen is, is the best. Girl at least from that an A tier. She's the best girl from that show. Yeah, yes. and, and that's probably. not even a competition. No, it's yeah. not a competition. No, an unlimited blade works. Yes, for sure. Yeah, I would one hundred percent agree. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean that's her okay. route. Mm-hmm. Right. Sure. <laughs> I mean Saber's pretty good in that show too, but. Yeah, in unlimited that's, blade that's works. like her route. Like she delivers papers on that route. That's her route. Mm-hmm. Well, no, that's her route. Saber's Saber's route is the one that was adapted by Dean. Yeah, gee, thanks, Jay. Thanks for explaining <laughs> fate to us. <laughs> like we don't know that. Yeah. If 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 you want, then if like you think that Joker that, if here. you think that that is an explanation of fate, oh boy. Do oh boy, I have, do I have an explanation <laughs> for you? Oh, don't no, I don't want to sit go down. To no, I'm already Get in the hell. Chair. I don't need someone to explain fate to me. Get the chair. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then everybody else just says Vegeta over and over Vegeta again. Vegeta yeah. over and over again. But I did get an answer on Twitter. Oh, okay. Wee woo, wee woo. Um, Twitter. Twitter. Wait, does Twitter get wee woo, wee woos? No. No. It's no. not even Twitter anymore. It's no. Twitter. You have to say X. No, because it's still Twitter.com. You have to say, no, you have to say, you have to say X. It's Twitter.com. You, you have to say Elon Musk Daddy's X. <laughs> No, it's Twitter.com. You, you, you must. You it's Twitter.com. You have to get down on your knees, arms in the air, going, X. A-L-X. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'm calling it X. Twitter. X.com. Until, until they change the, the everything U- app. <laughs> <laughs> until they change the URL to X.com, it's still Twitter. And I will forever call it Twitter until they do that. I but can't wait for my cyber truck to come in the mail. From what do you say, anime podcast? We've got four uh, answers from them. Um, Ooh, we've got friends. Ayuzawa Misaki from Maid Sama. Uh, have either of you seen Maid Sama? Okay. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah. Yep, 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 oh, yep, yep. Okay, yep, I was yep. gonna say crickets over here because <laughs> no, no. I I agree. Good one. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. I really want to watch that show. I feel like I'd like it. I'm gonna watch it's it with Shazena because I, I feel like it hit the like the the sweet shojo spot. Like she just recently mm-hmm. watched Kamisama Kiss. And, yeah. Oh, uh, the the god fox god in Kamisama Kiss is a good tsundere. I'll just throw that out there. Any sir, go on, Jay. Yeah. Um. Also said Rin Tosaka. I mean, I think we've already exhausted how much we love Rin. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Weirdly, Rin she gets around the tsundere trope of having red hair by just like wearing a lot of red, which is mm-hmm. red's good. her color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um. We've got um, Misato Tachibana from Nichi Joe. I, I I think that that's Cole's wheelhouse. That's Cole's Sato. Which one's that? Uh, she's got. Oh short, yes, yes. Yeah. She uh, yeah. She always brings guns out. Yeah, yeah. I like that yeah, one. That sounds she like always, her, Yeah, co- comedically has like guns and shoots the girl that she or the guy that she has a crush on. Mm-hmm. It's pretty mm-hmm. funny. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and then uh, that one. the last one is uh, Kurisu Makise from Steins Gate. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's like that's like a, a what's the word I'm looking for? Like a less intense tsundere. It's a more mm-hmm. more nuanced mm-hmm. tsundere. She's simmering. She's yes. more of like the grounded tsundere, if that more makes like sense. More like a believable. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Whereas like a like a Asuka is kind of like more like animated over the top or like a reen or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little more anime. Rean, yeah. Rean, Rean's, Rean's pretty pretty mellow. She's definitely a tsundere, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the, this... Listen, this isn't the gush about Rean. Part this gush. is... Oh, I'm gushing. This... Uh, gross. Call me fruit, because I'm gusher. <laughs> gusher ring. <laughs> gusher ring. This yeah. is... Uh, what is this? A tournament. Know. We have a tournament to do. Oh yeah, we're doing a tournament about yes. uh, sundares. Uh, and what are these sundares going to be doing, gentlemen? I Any guesses? Was, was it Cole or was it Jay who came up with this? This one? was Cole's. Uh, this was Cole's. Mm. This was a combination initially. Are they initially? Waitressing? They were going to be sur- like wait, wait, waitering, waiting tables, mm-hmm. and then Jay said, "I thought they were doing. They were working at a call center." And I said, that's a good idea. What if, they, what if we combine the two? And they were working at a call center to collect pizza orders. And they forgot their notebook. So they have to remember those orders off the top of their head. Oh, what a twist. Yes. A twist. Yes. So we have 12 twist. entries here. We have, in order, Asuka, Langley, Soryu, from... Neon Genesis, classic. Evangelion, classic, classic Sudoku, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. almost mm-hmm. like the 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 granddaddy, grandmommy of the Sudoku genre. I'd say. Yeah, I I would agree. I suppose. Like there were uh, Sudokus before her. Don't get me wrong, but when people, I think like she's the one who like maybe when people she's like think the, of Sudoku, like she's the quintessential Sudoku. Yeah, yeah, she is. But we do have a. Do we have another? Oh, we do have a quintessential Sudoku coming up. Yes, we have a few. Yeah. Uh, next one would be Kagami Hi- Hiragi from uh, Lucky Star, Jay's favorite show on Earth. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, come on, Twin Tails, purple hair. What's not to like? Great tsundere. Lucky Star. Yep. Lucky Star. Next up, we have the quintessential tsundere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nino Nakano, net best girl from yep. quintessential mm-hmm. quintuplets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. Uh, we have our first gentleman in the mix, Kyo Soma from Fruits Basket. Orange hair. Yes, Michael. Congratulations on nominating him. Mm-hmm. Next, we got Reen Tosaka. Needs no introduction. What We've a already coincidence. Gushed. We've already gushed. We've already gushed. Saki Saki from uh, Girlfriend Girlfriend. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. after my own heart. Uh, Hitagi Sinjo Gahara from... Monogatari. What? Monogatari, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ami Kawashima from Toradora. Eris mm-hmm. Boreas Grey Rat from uh, Mushoku Tensei. Mm-hmm. Vegeta from Dragon Ball. It's Vegeta, Prince of the Saiyans. Bro. Yeah, it's sure. It's actually vegetable. <laughs> Jay from the top rope with that one. That one caught yeah. me off guard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next up, we got Tatsumaki. Mm-hmm. From One Punch Man and mm-hmm. uh, Chitoge, we forgot to put her last name in from Nisakoi. Yeah, she has a last name. I'm assuming, right? Uh, yes, yes. and it is Kirisaki. Perfect. Excellent. I will forget that. Uh, let's let's spin the wheel. Who is our first nominee? Oh, I forgot that this thing makes noises. I oh, know the noises always start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hope nobody can hear the noises. I oh, it's no. just me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, first up, we got Chitoge. Chitoge. Okay. Up against. Oh, Jay, I'm sorry to report this to you. She is up against Hitagi Senjogahara. Mm. Oh my goodness. From Monogatari. Uh, who's whose nominee was uh, Chitoge? That was Jay. That was mine. Right. Yeah. Okay, so why why would she make a good pizza delivery uh, order taker person? Um, well, I think like she's very good at handling chaos because her house is very chaotic. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. you know, like she she lives uh with with a whole m- mob of um mafia mafioso. Mm, um, sounds dangerous. So oh, that sounds da- that sounds like a bad work situation yeah uh keep in mind that uh this is over the phone so the customer would have no idea i mean she's not doing it from home is she yeah i guess you could work from home you could you could could it's over the phone so like who knows um but you know like she's she's she knows how to handle like crazy situations because of that um she's she's you know uh she's got her 
uh, angle and her devil mode. So I mean, like you know, um, she can be she can she can be whatever. You, uh, Get she, you a Sundere who can do both. Yeah, yeah, and Sundere, be an I angle mean, and a devil. I mean, yeah. sen- angle and devil. Mo- most <laughs> most Sundares are both. So I mean, that's not really a selling point. I mean, it is literally the whole the yeah. name, right? Yeah, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Um, how's her memory? Does she have a good memory? Yeah, like, Can she remember she, these orders? And like under pressure too. So here's the thing about her memory. So in other words, she, not she, good. I don't remember. Is she a very, is she pretty airheaded? I can't. Um. So one of the main plot points of the show is Raku trying to figure out which girl he made a promise to. Mm. So mm. like, so the uh, the whole crux of the show is that she can't remember. Well, like, if, she didn't remember that she he was her childhood friend until, like, later in the manga. Yeah, she might forget these orders. That's not... That's not a good well, sign. That's, that's assuming she can't get, write them down. People get upset She can't write them down. They forgot their... Pizza and they get oh, they forgot right. their uh, they forgot notepad. Their, yeah. yeah, that's true. That's they true. gotta I just... Didn't... After they get off the phone, they're like, Hey, boss! <laughs> Mikey yeah. at the Any Pro Protagonist podcast, he wants uh, uh, sausage with uh, with uh, extra the, mushrooms uh, with the mayo and the extra <laughs> mushrooms. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that mayo and mushroom pizza, please, mm. Chitoge. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean that's pretty memorable. I think I remember yeah, that, yeah, one, yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, whose whose nominee was uh, Hitagi Shin- that Sinjogahara? That would be mine, and I chose now her why? honestly. Like you guys are probably more familiar with her than I am, so I'll kind of just maybe just lead it off, and you guys can correct me where I'm wrong. But Hitagi is very like I'm used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the way it goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is a very like organized and like driven person. If she sees something, she mm-hmm. wants it. She gets it. She's very intelligent. She's able to. Uh, interact with people in like a very business like uh, atmosphere as well. So I think as like a, a pizza hot, let's say like some sort of pizza hotline of kinds, mm-hmm. some kind of like pizza hotline that you would call, mm-hmm. like yeah. mm-hmm. when she's working at the pizza hotline, yeah. I could see her answering the phone and <laughs> like, uh, I, I just think she'd be able to handle the business very well. Like you get someone who's a little like disgruntled and grumpy. She's not mm-hmm. taking that. She's, but she's not like, I don't know if she's necessarily going like some of these other Sundares on the list here are probably going to snap and say something very rude to that person. Mm-hmm. Whereas I feel like Hit- Hitagi is more a little more like subtle of a, a Sundare. Like she would just mm-hmm. maybe say like a sarcastic mm-hmm. comment and move on and that would be good enough for her. Yeah. And and she's smart enough that like the worry with Chitoge was that she would forget the order. Uh, that's mm-hmm. definitely not happening with Hitagi. She remembers everything. Yeah, I feel like the the calm, cool, collected Sundare is mm-hmm. uh, it's kind is of very key in this. For this. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. key in this situation. They can hold, they can hold their uh, hold their tongue when mm-hmm. when a customer gets stupid. You know what? And it's not when customers get mad; it's when they get stupid, dumb. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 and and they think it's your fault that they're dumb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. and the other thing too is Hitagi comes with her own stapler as well. She staple and orders together, no problem. She, she doesn't have any paper to paper to staple together, but if she ever did, yeah, yeah, no, I mean it's there. It's yeah, there. like she's it's got there. it. Yeah. She has a stapler. Does she, yes. brought it with her to the interview. Yeah. Does uh the other one Chitoge, Chitoge have a stapler? Does she come with any utilities? She does have a bow. Any utensils? She does. Oh, she's she has a bow. bow. She has a bow. Hitagi has a bow. Oh, and and Senjo Gahara, sometimes she's got uh, short hair, which is... Oh, she do have short hair. She do have short hair. You know what she also has, too, though? And Mm. I'm almost like... Maybe I shouldn't bring this up because she'll lose because of it. Mm. But she's got uh, wealthy daddy supporting her. He's driving her to work every day. She's really Well, I mean, so does Chitoge. Yeah. They both have wealthy... They're both, like, kind of... Yeah. I've outed yeah. myself now as not seeing Nisekoi, so... No, that's okay. Uh, yeah. Chitoge's family is like uh, Yakuza. Yeah. Oh, that's why she yeah. lives with Yakuza. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm ready to vote. Are you guys ready? Do we need any more deliberation here? No, I think uh, I'm ready. I'm ready, okay. too. Yeah. All right. My vote is going to Senjo Gahara, short hair queen, step on me. Michael, okay. <laughs> take mm. my pizza order. I'm going to go with Senju Gahara as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And s- now Jay okay. gets to say his famous line. Well, with that, Senju Gahara moves on. 
I'm no. gonna kick your heart, kick your no, booty, no. Jay. No, you tell us your vote. That you means that vote. does. I, hey, no. I didn't say I wasn't. I didn't say that wasn't a vote. She just moves on. Well, you have to vote. Vote. Have to vote. Vote. It's got to be on record. That Sandra Gahara moves on. Next up. Jay. You're the worst. <laughs> Jay, we, uh, the fans want to know who you're voting for. It's Don't pointless. Let fans... it's Don't let the pointless. fans down. It's pointless. Many things are pointless, but we still do them. No, it's Don't pointless. let the fans down, Jay. Let's just move on. Jay. Jay, don't be this guy. Vote. She move. She moves on regardless of who I vote for. Okay. So I'll vote for the verses in between. Okay. Okay. Uh, Senjo Gahara is up next again. Mm-hmm. So oh, no. she will be battling in an epic bat. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Read oh, Tosaka. To oh no. Mm-hmm. Tosaka. Well, I've already pitched Hitagi Senjo Gahara. Mm-hmm. We know her abilities and her talents and her purple mm-hmm. hair. And yes. her nice uniforms, mm-hmm. and her scissors, and her yes. stapler. Stapler. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now tell me about Reen Tosaka, because nobody well, knows who that is. She's very yeah. Reen Tosaka. She, she's a bit more of an obscure tsundere. Oh, okay. There's a fruit fly flying by me. Sorry. <laughs> oh. uh, Reen Tosaka is. Uh, she's a mage. She has magic powers. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is also a tsundere in the sense that she won't really she's she's busy it's business time mm-hmm. with senjo with uh, uh rin tosaka it's mm-hmm. it's it's she she is very capable but she also kind of wears her sweet side more on her sleeve a little bit more i feel she's in a terms more of mm-hmm. dare than mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. uh and I feel like she's got the intelligence. She'll remember those orders. She'll remember those oh, orders. Yeah. And also, she is she has combat training. Now, hear me out. She has combat training, which I feel like will allow her to to center herself more in those intense, uh, busy points. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's that's really all I got to say. Do you guys have any questions so regarding here's, uh, Rinto here's Saka? My, here's my issue, and I think that this might also trickle down to Sandra Gahara. Um, but like. Reen, it kind of like has a bit of a sheltered upbringing, being like a, a ritzy girl and all that. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how well she'd be able to handle in like a, a part time job because right. of that, especially in the service industry. I'm just I picturing, feel like- yeah, like in the service industry, like your manager says something rude or yells at you, which is like, it's not good in any industry, but like mm-hmm. it happens in, especially in like the service industry. I, I just I, I if I had to guess which one of these two between Senju Gahara and Reen, which one's gonna take that worse or a customer being like rude to them, I'm maybe going Reen, honestly. I I think Reen might be a little more prone to like getting angry. I think my problem is like she might be a bit too like I don't wanna say hoity toity. Mm-hmm. But like what at the th- same time Hito- Senju Gudhara, at least, like, she lives in, like, an apartment yeah. on her own. She's a yeah. little more, like, grounded. Independent, yeah. Whereas, like, Reen yeah, lives in, like, no, a mansion true. with, like, mm. butlers and stuff. That's yeah. a bit... Why did, why did she even have this job? That's kind of what I'm thinking. And, like, would she yeah. be able to even do it because she's got so many people waiting on her? Would she Here's want the other to thing. Yeah. Here's the other thing, too. Senju Gahara. And I mean this as as a uh, a plus for her. Mm-hmm. She's a bit more two faced. Like she can, no, yes. she can put. I I have customer a feeling she voice. could put on that that yeah. customer service voice better than than mm-hmm. Reen could. Reen's gonna call people out on their bullshit, whereas Senjo Gahara, I feel like could, uh, maybe, not. You know, sometimes you well, feel mm-hmm. like you want to, but you're not going to. It's like yeah. you said, like when the customer gets like kind of dumb and you're like want to be like no you're you're just you're an idiot mm-hmm. i feel like Rita be more likely to actually say that yeah. whereas like you said senju gahara would probably be more like just kind of like just bite her lip and be like s- yeah mm, smile stupid idiot yeah. yeah yeah well i feel like we're all sounds ready like, to vote sounds here. like we've agreed yeah. here yeah yeah uh, jay, jay you go first so, so, yeah why don't you go first so, so, before before we Never go for the vote, last vote before we go before we go for the vote i just want to say like i feel like there is a little bit of merit to the idea that Sandra gahara might like maybe not as like outrageously but she might like just calmly take out the stapler and just like threaten someone with that if they but she's on the phone possible. It's mm-hmm. not, yeah 
But like if I'm picturing like in like some sort of pizza, maybe it's like this pizza hotline that she's working at has like you could either place orders on the phone or you mm-hmm. could go in in person. Mm-hmm. If there's an in-person aspect to this pizza hotline that she works at, mm-hmm. there's definitely like the possibility of stapling an order to someone's forehead. Yeah. 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 Well, Jay, why don't you vote? With that said, I'm going to vote for Sen- uh, Sandra Gahara. Okay. Michael? Please vote. I'm going to vote for the verses in between. No. <laughs> vote or I'll okay, beat I'm gonna you vote, up. I'm, I'm going to vote for Senju Gahara too. Okay. I'm also actually going to vote for Senju Gahara. I'm sorry, Reen. I'm, I'm surprised that you voted yeah. against your girl, Reen. Well, I mean, if it was if it was just character design, I mean, come on, Reen. Like, yeah. Reen is, takes don't the get cake. me wrong, I love me. Or if Reen, it was just like which Sundere is better as a, uh, mm-hmm. as a Sundere. Yeah. 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 Or even yeah. maybe which character is better, honestly. Yeah. Why don't you why don't you have another drink, Michael? Hey, I'm an adult. Hey, I'm a big boy. I'm a big uh boy. so yeah, see you later. Uh Reen. Who just Reen, Reen Tosaka. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I knew that. Reen I knew who it was. Oh, I almost said it. <laughs> what? Reen Toe Sucker. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I don't like that at all, but I do like our next tsundere. There's a doubt. Saki Saki sure. from Girlfriend Girlfriend. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. come tell on. Me one her. of my yeah. favorites. Yeah. Well, Jay will tell you about her and she'll she is going oh, poor poor Saki Saki. She's going up against Nino Naka. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> the superior well, then. red-headed girl. <laughs> <laughs> um well, here's the thing, Cole. Saki Saki's like in in the early episodes of the show, there's a whole thing about mm-hmm. how she's kind of useless. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she's kind mm-hmm. of an idiot. Yeah. yeah. So tell me why this idiot would be a very good person for you to hire. This wasn't my character. This was actually Jay? Jay's. Nominee. It was my it was my nominee. But to be fair, I didn't. I had no idea what our thing was when I was doing. No, we this. didn't know. Yeah, yeah we didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah. We didn't yeah. know. Um, you could have probably guessed that she would be useless at whatever it was, because that's kind yeah. of like a personality trait of hers. Yeah. I mean, if we're just talking about, like, nice girls, mm-hmm. then Saki Saki is a nice girl, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, she's pretty useless. She also there is an dumb. arc in the anime where she literally realizes she's basically a leech. So, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. 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 I love her, but. I feel like Naoya would call her all the time. And like just ordered specifically from her. Yeah, and then you'd have to like put her, pull her aside and be like, "Listen, your boyfriend keeps calling. Yeah, you can't have that." Mm-hmm. Look, we appreciate the business that he's giving us, but like, how about we say how about we say a good thing? About I was gonna say, let's do sorry. devil's advocate yeah. here a little bit. Let's let's Jay sell her as uh, okay. She, you're gonna earn twenty five United States freedom dollars if she gets hired for this, okay, this okay. call center job. Okay, um, please vote for her. I need the money. Look, man, <laughs> <laughs> he's got mom in <laughs> This light novel addiction is real. Look at her. Isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? She's isn't she cute. She, isn't she cute? We just reviewed the show. You can go like check out the review. Look, if you if you vote for her, you, you can see her in a made just, outfit. Just, look, man. <laughs> Um, no, she's a cute girl. I think, like, she's got, like... <laughs> it's a phone. She's, she's over the phone. <laughs> she's, uh... She's... She's cute. Yeah? I think, I think like, over the phone, she'd be, like, not as bad as some of the other Sundares. Like, she no, was, she's she's a bit screamy, though. Yeah. She's a bit screamy. The, the problem here is that she comes from a comedy anime. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, she's a little over the top. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. what about Nino? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nino canonically owns a restaurant. <laughs> Here's the thing. Nino actually would probably, as as much as we joke about the Sundere being like crazy, and Nino does have the Sundere tendencies. She's a, actually like a very light Sundere, actually, in the grand mm-hmm. scheme of things. I and think like she's a much heavier Sundere at the beginning of the show, but that kind of yeah. like washes away as the show goes she's, on. She's a functioning Sundere. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to put yeah. it. A high functioning Sundere, mm-hmm. I think. She also like owns a restaurant, so she has history in the service industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like she has like, she, she has a resume that actually yeah. like, shows that she can probably do this job pretty mm-hmm. well. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, we could really pad this out and talk about it, you know, talk about it for longer, just say random words, peas, carrots, uh, guava, mushroom, Star Wars pins. Oh, 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 don't forget Mm -hmm. about PS5 controller. PS5. PS5 prices. prices. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm voting for Nino Nakano. Jay, who are you voting for? Mike, don't say. Uh, Yeah, I'm voting for uh, the verses in the middle. I hate you. Mike, who are you voting for? I'm voting for the verses in the middle. Okay, <laughs> well <great>. then, <laughs> Nino moves, moves on. on. Versus no. moves on. Okay, we know it's Nino. Yeah, we, we know. know it's I'm Nino. so sorry, Saki Saki, but you're not. Listen, you're you're gonna live off of off of your uh, your boyfriend and his other girlfriend. In parentheses, uh, and. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. You're going to do fine. Yeah. You're going to do, do you're fine. Do, you're going to do fine, you know sweetie. What? You're gonna you know what? Fine. You'll make lots of money doing absolutely nothing, and you'll enjoy it. Mm-hmm. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, That's next up we got Tatsumaki from One Punch Man. No, wait. Mm-hmm. She becomes a YouTuber at the end of the manga, doesn't she? Uh, Like a... Like she's a starting. She's starting, and she, yeah. like, collaborates with, uh, with, the, with the, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I guess you know what she found her calling. Yeah, too late, too late. <laughs> she's just Tatsumaki. like us. She's just like <laughs> she's, she's just like, like me. For real, <laughs> for real, for real. Oh hold on, God, hold on. hold on. The meme of the guy pointing to himself. No, I have no idea what no, you're talking over about. My head. Uh, no, no, Jay, that was too. That was too. Uh, that was too deep. That was too too deep. Too deep. You're talking too to two lost. You're old. You're lost in the sauce, Jay. Two old, 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 old men. Old men. Yeah. Old man. Tatsumaki is up, and they will be battling. Which one's Tatsumaki again? I always apparently get herself. Her sister. Tatsumaki is the little one. Okay. Yes. yes. The older yes. ones. Yeah. Of course, oh, that's the no. way it always goes in anime. Is the, the Tatsumaki the, the older sister is the smaller one? Mm-hmm. Tatsumaki mm-hmm. is going up against Asuka. Oh my god. Oh my goodness I'm so gracious. Oh my goodness Tell gracious. Tell us about Tatsumaki, Cole. Well, Tatsumaki, she's a superhero. She has uh, the... Uh, she's very strong with the Force. Uh, sorry, I've been watching Star Wars. Uh, she's very... She's a strong esper. She's she's a strong... Uh, she's got telekinetic abilities. And boy, is she a tsundere. She's a sassy uh, lost child. She is a sassy lost child, and she is very, very soon. She has a yeah. lot of soon in that. She is a soon, 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 so soon, soon. So kind of like we've, we've had quite a few so far that have been very dare. Mm-hmm. This she's, one's she's soon. quite soon. Mm-hmm. Yes, this okay. one is very soon. And you know what? Like I, I feel like we take for granted. I, I didn't know this until you and Jay explained this to me. Can you explain like what the soon and the dare means? Just because I, I genuinely didn't know this until you guys told me. So we, well, so, it's it's yeah. that like that the the action of being like gr- basically you're grumpy you're grumpy but you're still like you still like have a soft spot and and that soft interior to your yeah. character well like soon is the is the like grumpy side and then dare mm-hmm. is the loving side mhm mhm i mean dare. honestly like we we were joking about this but like vegeta is like a quintessential tsundere like he's yeah he's just grumpy uh, gruff exterior but like he cares about his wife and his family and stuff and the earth yeah yeah yeah, uh, uh, yeah i mean that's that's tsundere mm-hmm. yeah so uh, and that's that's who uh tatsumaki is honestly not much dare here at all yeah <laughs> she's just mean basically she's just basically mean uh, I mean, there's been some stuff recently in the manga where she gets like, mm, there's this portion where somebody like saves her from something and she's got like the, you know, the blushy face, mm-hmm. which is, I guess that's a little dare, or but that, for like, the most part, she's scene just where kinda... he like, where Saitama like jumps away with her and there's that like mm-hmm. panel of her like squished up against him and that's what I'm talking show- about. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, where he's like hugging her. Yeah, and then they're like jumping away. Yeah, and she's all blushy, uh, and she's all she be all blushy. So she's she's sundere, but like not in a romantic sense. I feel like she's just like, uh, yeah, just mostly uh, soon, mostly really soon. flustered, maybe, but mm-hmm. not even really, yeah. right? Yeah, she gets flustered. She's a sassy uh, lost child. She's a sassy lost child, yeah. Is that something they call her in the, the manga? I've only watched the first season of the anime, so... 
That's in the first season of the Yeah, that's in the first season. Oh, is it? Saitama calls her that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who is the sassy lost child? Yeah. Um, What about Asuka, though? Who is Asuka Langley? I nominated Asuka Langley, so are you. Or Mm -hmm. Asuka, what's her name in the- Asuka Langley Shikinami. There you go. Um, Listen- you know who Asuka is. If you're if you know anime, you know what Evangelion is, and you know mm-hmm. what Asuka is. She mm-hmm. is the granddaddy of Sundares. She, she has red hair. She wears red. She pilots a giant red mech. Like how much more Sundare is can you get? There's one right behind Cole right now, right over his uh, left shoulder. There's she's a suit, right behind there's, me. Isn't she? There's an Asuka right there. She's looking not quite at Cole, but if the eyes are just right, she's looking at us. She's kind of looking like at uh, Ray from. Uh... March comes in like a lion. Her next kind victim. Of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's why I think, because this is not a competition of who's the best Sundere. This is a competition mm-hmm. of who is the best pizza hotline customer service person. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I think Asuka would be very good at this because uh, despite initial, uh, like you'd you'd think, oh, Asuka, she's kind of like bratty. She's not gonna she's not gonna put up with the 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 customer. She's not gonna do a good job of this. Actually, she is quite dedicated to her job. Mm-hmm. She she works hard and she is she listens to what she's told and she she does her thing. And uh, it's been a long time since I've watched Evangelion, so I'm struggling a little bit to remember exactly what's going on here. But I think that as a call center person, she would be she would have the sassy remark in her head. Mm-hmm. But I think she has enough restraint to keep it to herself, and she's uh, capable enough and well put together enough that she is going to take the order and take it sufficiently well that it's not going to get messed up. She's not getting fired for sure. She's probably not getting promoted just because she's. You know what? Actually, maybe she. I think, I think she she's could. a hard worker. I think she could. honestly. Yeah. 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 Oscar. Oscar too. Again, she's got that two facedness to her. There's mm-hmm. that the, one of my favorite pictures of Asuka is when she's like going to like flirt with uh what's his name Kaiji or whatever his name is uh, and Misato's boyfriend or whatever yeah and she's she's got that like doe eyed look on her face and she's all like drawn really like cutesy mm-hmm. and it's just funny that like she's got those those two sides to her she can be that like super nice uh like s- extremely accommodating person I feel like. But her like regular self is yeah like who mm-hmm. she actually is inside like mm-hmm. yeah that probably hits on something there where I think she has like an excellent customer servers c- customer service voice if that mm-hmm. makes sense mm-hmm. yeah whereas yeah. I don't Tatsumaki, know that Tatsumaki has that I've no. never seen her be nice to anybody <laughs> I mean she is a hero <laughs> I've never seen Tatsumaki be nice to anybody Asuka can even be nice to Shinji sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, she's, sometimes she's like borderline nice sometimes sometimes <laughs> on occasion yeah i w- i just want to emphasize she can be nice yeah sometimes sometimes um i'm ready to vote yeah this, you is, guys? A, this is an easy one to me as soon as you yeah. said like basically tatsumaki's just gonna be like rude to the person she's bringing fire <laughs> yeah. day one guys I'm, yeah yeah, yeah. she's gonna, she get even gonna get the job she might not even get through the interview yeah 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 listen we're desperate but not that yeah. desperate yeah. uh jay who are you voting for uh i'll vote for oscar nice very yeah. good michael who are you voting for i'm gonna vote for tatsumaki Okay, nice. I'm going for Asuka, I think. Ah, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like... I don't know why you would vote for Tatsumaki. That's a weird nah, vote, That was Mike. just a meme. That was a meme. Pure meme. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, some people like know. that rude it's... attitude. I um, mean, hey. Some people get a hey. kick out of it. Some people... Yeah. Not me. Not me. I would not never. Not cool. No, certainly no. not. No, no. Shazane isn't uh, mean to me either. <laughs> certainly not. <laughs> Tatsumaki, more like... See ya. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was stunning, Cole. Yeah, so so well done. Ami Kawashima from Tora Dora. They will be in a pizza taking battle 
with oh another one of mine kagami hiragi Ooh, okay here we go talking now i gotta do a lot of talking for characters that i'm only a little bit familiar with uh well ami kawashima i know pretty well uh i've seen toradora a number of times I, even you guys have seen toradora so you know that i'm a mm-hmm. little bit i haven't I, seen I, it in a while remind me wasn't there a like while? a maid cafe episode uh there was yes wasn't was there? there i thought there was i feel like there There's was definitely a, a christmas episode there's definitely a Christmas episode. Ami Kawashima is fully capable of being. Yeah, because they dress up. Uh, what's her name? The main soon in the show. Taiga as doesn't she dress up all pretty for the maid cafe or something? No, that was for the uh, beauty contest. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, so. uh, yeah. Uh, no, because yeah, they do that wrestling match. That was their thing. Was it just a culture that was, festival? Is that worth it? That was their. That was their. That that was their school festival. Uh, thing they didn't do a maid cafe they did the uh, uh Jay's looking. wrestling we'll find out soon. yeah i'm looking it up because i don't remember uh ami kawashima is f- uh she is the most two-faced person on this list which y- yeah. again we've kind of discussed yeah. that gives somebody a head uh, a head start you almost have to be a little two-faced to like deal with the public and not mm-hmm. be mean to them now intelligence wise i feel like mm. she can remember the orders i feel like she's she's a pretty strong she's, candidate here i yes. feel like she's a little stacked in this tournament actually and she's she's pretty sneaky good she doesn't really have very many like fatal Downsides. flaws in this yeah. in this competition uh kagami hiragi is basically the same um she's kind of the she's less sundere and more straight man to everybody else's antics Okay. Uh, she just kind of sometimes she'll yell at somebody for doing something stupid, which I mean, Michael does that to me all the time. Mm-hmm. You do that to me all the time. Jay. Shut up. See, yeah, Jay's always yelling at us too. Jay is always yelling at us, but it's Don't... in lower. He, he yells in lowercase. It's very strange. Mm-hmm. Yells in lowercase and like in, in his brain. Like right now, <laughs> look at him. He's yelling at us right now. Shut mm-hmm. up. See? I knew it. See? Yeah. That was him, like, <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen him so angry. Cole, he's pissed at us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, like, Kagami versus Kawashima, they're pretty... Okay. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Is this another chair mishap? <laughs> How did that happen? I, I hit the lever to lower my chair as I was taking a sip. That was a That's... Yeah, very good. <laughs> very good idea. Um. Here's, here's my question. So, from, yes. like, I, I see Ami having, like, like she has that, like, good vibe uh, for dealing with customers and customer service. Mm-hmm. Does Kagami have any, like, positive... Because, like, I don't think she... <laughs> you don't think she what? I don't think she has any negative traits, but, like, I can't think of anything that, like would be a positive I think, in yeah her. i think that da- i don't think it's the downsides here i honestly think we, we can only hire one mm-hmm. i would hire both of you right now you're both great candidates mm-hmm. but ami just like, has that that high i think yeah like that that's kind of what it boils kagami, down to yeah like it it's not for me that you know kagami has faults but the fault in and of itself is that she has no pluses Mm-hmm. or less pluses i feel my, like yeah. she'd still be good my concern yeah. with uh kagami is isn't lucky star like quite the 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 the, the, the like the very comedy? hyperactive and like yelly type thing going on yes and she so, does yell but in, like i said she's the straight man in the show essentially mm-hmm. she's okay. she's kind of the least antic prone yeah whereas uh, like ami is just essentially a normal girl a normal girl who's kind of kind of conniving, but kind of a little bit conniving. Otherwise. But I mean, hey, I don't mm-hmm. care. I'm paying you to take pizzas, not be my friend. I feel yeah. like every. I feel like she's actually like a pretty believable character, though. Like she kind of everybody at her... Torador is a very believable character, yeah. and that's why it is the best romance anime of all time. I disagree. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of online. I respectfully <laughs> disagree. Look, man, Sword Art Online's a masterpiece. You don't understand. You know <laughs> Cole, you, you should be mm. happy because you got like a I disagree out of Jay instead of a no. 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 <laughs> no. Um, well, yeah, I, I, I feel like we're all kind of, honestly like we're kind of just like we're just unanimously so far. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
Uh, so I think boring. Ami wins this one as well. That's my vote. I, I Again, so those too. highs, yeah. those highs are are good. Mm-hmm. I, th- I feel like she should be good here. She mainly yeah. wins this one because I have no effing clue who Kagami Haragi <laughs> really is. So that doesn't help. Either. I'm going to force you guys to watch Lucky Star soon. So. I, wa- I, hate, I genuinely want to watch Lucky, Lucky I Star. I hate the so. both of you right now. Lucky Star is great. Lucky Star is a good show. It's OP is annoying. Terrible. It's OP is so it's annoying. Not, it's not bad. It's just annoying. The <sighs> Annie Pro Cole story. Having, mm-hmm. <laughs> having to go through that OP is grounds enough to not watch that show. There is this mm. option to like skip the OP. That's blasphemous. Yeah, that's, that's blasphemous, Michael. Yeah. yeah that's Come on. yeah. Who do you For think that you are? player tonight? <laughs> you're going one on one with the Undertaker. Undertaker. And uh this, Kyo Soma. Oh, Kyo, okay. Ma, yes. Kyo, Kyo Ma Soma is up Kyo, next. Kyo Soma from Fruit Basket. From Fruit as a Basket. No, you're going to need to uh, um, elaborate on who Kyo Soma is because I dropped this show. You certainly did. And then you watched the prequel movie. The prequel movie. <laughs> <eaters. Yeah. laughs> so Kyo is the red or orange haired boy in uh, mm. Fruits Basket. Mm-hmm. He he's is, the cat. He's the mm-hmm. cat of the Zodiac. He is. I tried to because I feel like the, the Sundarays when people think of Sundarays, they rarely think of male characters. So I tried to include a few in here because mm-hmm. they the tropes go both ways for all of these. Yeah, no, no, mm-hmm. no you did the right thing, they're not, Mike. Yeah, they're they're gender neutral. Don't let tropes. anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah. Yep. Don't ignore those comments underneath yeah. this video. I, trust me, I'm not even reading them, <laughs> except for that one. I can't, can you believe they said that? Oh my god! Yeah, that was yeah, that, that was horrible. A That's a yeah. wild take. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kyo Soma, uh, certified sundere. But here's the thing: he is also a hardworking gentleman. He is. He works in a. Sorry, he doesn't work because he's just... He has the greatest gift of all, generational wealth. And He has the greatest gift of all, a gift of a child's laughter. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my concern about Kyosoma. Mm. Imagine, yes. imagine for me, if you will, my gentleman, um, mm. you're talking to someone on the phone ordering a pizza for, mm-hmm. your, for your gathering, yes. and the person on the other line, just out of nowhere... Start speaking Japanese. No, 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 no. I have no idea what you're suddenly, saying. Suddenly, suddenly, out of nowhere, you just hear, meow. Well, he can't just, he doesn't just transform into a cat. And also, he speaks English when he's a cat. Oh, yeah, does he? he? Does that. Okay. He actually would have no problem. He just hit speakerphone and he'd be fine. Yeah. Um, good point, though, Jay. Good point. Uh, <laughs> he d- also, he, he only transforms if he's hugged by a member of the opposite sex. So it'd be strange right. if someone's hugging him at work. Yeah. Well, um, who knows? Maybe, maybe Toru comes in from behind, just gives him a hug. Just gives him a, a hug just and just, just super, just super airheaded, you know, and just like doesn't isn't even thinking that he's working, and she just yeah, like just from uh, behind gives him a hug. Yeah, 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 and then some. And then, I like that there's. Boom. I like that we're imagining you can work this minimum wage call center job from home. Like they wouldn't force you into this like crowded little cubicle where it's cheaper to have you at home. Yeah, it's yeah, cheaper it's, to have you at home. You don't got to yeah, pay for they, rent they at they a want, building. They want the control, yeah. though. Anyway, Kyo Soma. He is a diligent young man. He mm. is very well-mannered. He mm. deals with people quite a lot. He's kind of grumpy, as most of the Sundarays are. Mm-hmm. But he, uh, he gives enough of a damn that I think he would try to do this job well for the sake of... He's got what? Go ahead, Cole. N- I I, I want to delve into his psyche a little bit. I, mm-hmm. I I feel like we should do that. You know? Yeah. I, think, yeah. I feel like we're we're well qualified to delve into the psyche of a fictional character. That would actually be uh, a fun he, episode. He has Just randomly. He has an inferiority complex as well, which I feel like we can harness as as evil capitalists. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I'm his manager. Yeah. I'm telling him I'm keeping the pressure on that boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, he's got an inferiority complex, and he mm-hmm. wants to impress. He wants to make make sure that we know that he is uh, unfireable, essentially. And he's motivated, too. He's a motivated young man, and he mm-hmm. is trying to escape his uh generational wealth roots 
and live on his own as well. So he, mm-hmm. he, he, when we ran into the issue with Reen a little bit where she is not super motivated to keep this low paying job and that she's bit probably not treated very well at, mm-hmm. Kyo is probably going to try to keep this job and try to work hard and do a good job. And he yeah. is smart. He is capable. He and is strong. I, I, he is strong. And I think he, he has the power to be charming strong. as well on the phone. Like charming enough that you can not be a jerk. As charming as Jay. Well, that, Give us that a smile. Both Give us way. a smile, Jay. Give us a smile, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it was the slowest smile. <laughs> okay. You want me to, Asking... you want me to what? <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> what, what, what is this smile you speak of? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, of course, human, fellow human. This is an expression of happy happiness amongst your people. Mm-hmm. What you um, call happiness? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think I've said enough of a piece on Mr. Kyo Soma. Do you know who they're 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 up against? They're no. they're up against. They're feverishly taking orders. I he did not said, say. He did not. Say. But I do know who it is, and that person is Oscar Langley Soryu oh, slash no. Shikinami. Oh, no. Now here's the thing. We love Oscar around here. We do love I Oscar mean, around here. Everybody mm-hmm. does. Everybody's we got a soft spot for Oscar. Oscar. But I mean Kyo is mm. you're right. He's going to be a he's going to be a good he's worker. Fierce. He's f- in the in the 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 labor industry in the customer service industry. He's willing to do whatever it takes. And you've tapped on something with that inferiority complex. Mm-hmm. That is what this capitalist regime loves mm-hmm. to hear. Yeah. You have low self-esteem. You're willing to work yourself to the bone to impress me, your crappy little manager. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're hired. And you're I am. Hired, yeah. I'm, I'm pushing you right less. up to that. Yeah. I'm pushing you right up to that overtime line and no further. Yeah. yeah. Asuka, she might tell you to F off. Yeah. There's a chance of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's those pesky child labor she laws might de- as well. She might destroy. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Kyo's also uh, minor as well. Yeah. But like Asuka's like, you know, minor, pretty young. minor. She's yeah. like 14. Yeah. Kyo yeah. is. Also, she has a big robot that she could smash people with. Yeah. Yeah. What does Kyo Yeah, She have? also works for like a government industry, which might be a bit of mm-hmm. a problem. She works for Nerf. 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 Yeah. Nerf. Nerf. Um, Narf? actually, Kyo could smash people too, if you remember at the end of season one of Fruits Basket, when he transforms into that weird thing, like that creepy cat creature thing. Yeah, like I a were cat. True, kind of. Basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that something we need out. to actually? I guess that's something is, to yeah, think about that, here. Is, is that, that something we need like, to be concerned about? Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Kyo has a lot of like like mental health issues, really. Yeah, he's he, got a he lot of might, baggage here. Yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot going on. I don't know. He might just Listen, stop we got to discuss this like day. we got to discuss this, discuss this like quick. real. Yeah, we got to discuss yeah. this like Here's real my worry. Like what if men. like if if he's at if he's at work and he's just like trauma dumping randomly at work, is that is that Oh, he wouldn't do that. No. No, I don't think he would. Well, I don't no. know. Maybe he could just all of a sudden be like, "Oh, nobody everybody hates me cuz I'm, I'm Especially so- for triggering that inferiority complex. I, I think he'd be more likely to just do the little like rut, I'm picturing like, leave where, work early, just like get up and leave. I'm picturing of, like, where stress. when Jay said that, especially if we're triggering his inferiority <laughs> complex, we're all we're we're sitting around in like a dark room discussing <laughs> our possible our potential hirings. Mm. Mm. How what can if we get the most out of these peons? <laughs> what if he sh- should we be concerned whether or not he he has a freak out because we're we are going to trigger his inferiority complex, correct? Yes. <laughs> That's the whole game, Cole. That's how this works. <laughs> now, what about Asuka? What, 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 uh, what, well, what, what has she got? Uh, what what, what does does she, she have, Jerry? What, if, what do we, what can we pull out of her? Well, she has a whole, like, she has a lot of complexes going Well, I mean, she is yeah. associated with What complexes with could be? Here's, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It may be advantageous for the business if we associate ourselves with nerve. That's nerve. true. That's yeah. true. That is true. That is true. The official call pizza line, the official pizza hotline of nerve. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's I'm, uh, Manager Jay uh, yeah, does yeah, bring up uh, a, good uh, a very good point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Mm, this one's a this bit is, tougher, a actually. Tight match, no, yeah. This is, yeah. I think I know where my heart is telling me to go, though. Okay. And I, I just, I just, for some reason, just have this feeling that if I'm sitting in this interview, which mm-hmm. one am I, which one am I hiring? Mm-hmm. And against possibly better judgment here, I might go Asuka, actually. Oh, interesting. Mm. I don't know. Like, I just, if I'm, I'm looking at these two candidates, I'm just kind of looking at their, their resumes. They're similar. They both are hardworking. They're both kind of a bit of jerks, but they also kind of, like, are able to fake it for the customer. I, I think they could both do a good job, and I, I, I think I give the edge to Asuka in this one. Mm. I think she can be a little sweeter than Kyo can, and Kyo's a little shyer. Okay. Jay? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking Asuka as well. Um, I mean, I know Asuka more than I know Kyo, but uh, just based off of, like, if I'm walking into the room and I see Asuka sitting at the sitting at the other end of the desk versus uh, Kyo at the other end of the desk, mm-hmm. Kyo's got a bit more of, like, a delinquent look to him, which might turn me off a little bit, whereas Asuka's got more of a prim and proper vibe Mm -hmm. yeah um which i think would set off a a bit of a better first impression so fair enough fair enough i am well i guess it doesn't matter like my vote oh don't you well it doesn't no cole's right but for the sake (laughs) but you know what we know who's moving on but for the sake of just convenience and just Mm -hmm. so like we know who who you would have voted for had it yeah. mattered, who would you have voted for? If it did matter. If it did my, matter. V- my vote that, just to be clear, doesn't matter. But if it did matter, mm-hmm. my vote would be for Asuka as well. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, no, I, I feel like I was I was in on the uh, mm-hmm. the taking advantage of his inferiority complex. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the baggage. Baggage. We don't want him trauma dumping and... and, and yeah. Uh, wow. getting our other workers wound up with their I, thing. No, Asuka, no, no, no. Asuka can trauma dump just as just as hard. No, too, but, she, but I, I, she. I don't think she's as prone to. No, she'll keep that in. Yeah, yeah. She's not talking about that's it. part of the soon. That's part of the soon to trait. Mm-hmm. Is you can't you can't just trauma dump to anybody. But you got yeah. that trauma. Yeah. 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 Hey, speaking yeah. of soon Yes. Yes. Uh, what about Ami Kawashima? Okay. okay. Do we remember we've her? About her? Yes. We've blue talked hair. about her. Yeah. Blue she's hair got, is a girl. She, uh, she is a girl. Uh, she's got blue hair, mm-hmm. and she's going up against Eris Gray Rat. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Jay's what? nominee. Yeah. Tell me about Eris. Pitch uh, this Eris person to me. So I feel like Eris is a very hardworking girl, um, especially like when. When she wants to do something, she, like, wants to get it done. And, like, we see that through how she learns um, sword fighting and just, like, how she learns from Rudy as well mm. after the beginning stuff. Um, she is a very hardworking person, She do- and her hard work does really pay off. I think that, like, you know, um, she's someone that definitely stands for what she believes in. Like, she has she has very solid conviction. Um mm-hmm. And I think that that would be very beneficial because, you know, it means that if she really wants to be at this place, she will, uh, you know, she will do her job and do mm-hmm. it diligently. The only thing I'm concerned about on her resume, and I'm not sure why she put this on her resume, but uh, after uh, uh, sleeping with her friend, she just like ditched him. Uh, should we be concerned about her ditching this company as well? Like just up I and think, leaving? Mm-hmm. I think it's valid. The, it's valid. I question. think a part of why she did it was for him. But and is she, she going to had... leave us and tell us that it's for our own good? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Because like, yeah. I, I don't like in terms of like her actual her her actual like i don't want to say job because she doesn't really have like a job but like in terms of like the actual things she stands for she mm-hmm. never really like abandons those and like she promised at least in her mind that she was going to return to rudy mhm mhm 
I'm also seeing a gap in her employment record here. That's a bit concerning. Uh, it's like she just vanished off of uh, the face of the earth here. Um, what's what's with that, Jay? What's up with that? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, she's she's currently, you know, she she had been traveling for a bit to to find herself. But I think that that's something that a lot of people go through at a certain point in their life. Mm-hmm. People who try to find Listen, themselves. We're not in the business of. of- finding yourself we're in the business of taking pizza orders gentlemen. yeah <laughs> yeah and when you, uh, when you look at this like i i look at it as uh you, you see uh ami kawashima here mm. and you say mm. to yourself that's just like your normal high school student she's gonna work here for a couple years while they're in school she's gonna do a good enough job and she's gonna move on and do her thing whereas when i look at miss Eris Boreas Grey Rat here. Mm-hmm. I see trouble. <laughs> I she seems to me, she strikes me as the type of person who's not showing up for work if she doesn't want to. Mm-hmm. Or I think Ami's showing up at least I, at least you know she's gonna be a body in that seat every day. I think Eris is like more of a wild card where it's kinda like can Is you she really? gonna punch me if I get if she gets mad at me? <laughs> yeah. Is she not only is she gonna come to work. Do I want her to come to work? Because she might hit me. She might yell at me. I'm, I don't know. I'm a little scared of her. I don't like being yelled at. I like Where's, yelling at other people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, the, we're the managers here. We get to yell at people. Yeah. Except don't now, do that. Well, I mean. You know what? Shut up and get back to work. Okay, we're sorry, sir. Sorry, yeah, sir. We're sorry. Uh, <laughs> listen, I love Eris. I, I do, too. I do, know, too. I love Eris. I don't want She's her working great. for me. Um, she needs to go find herself Mm -hmm. and then rekindle her, her feelings. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Too too late for that. At the end of season one, she did cut her hair short. Oh, can't see the hair over the phone. Cole, don't fall. Don't fall victim (laughs) to face traps here, but she cut her hair short. So (laughs) Ami also has short hair. No, she doesn't. No, she has long hair. She has long blue hair. hair. She's got long blue hair. I thought it was fairly short. Okay, never mind. It's irrelevant. <laughs> I thought it was like shoulder length. No, it's like no, no. It's long. It's no. long. Eris it's been a while. Eris cut her hair short. Eris uh, did have no. long hair though. Yeah. Yeah. Jay's onto something here. M- Mike, who are you voting for? I I've made it pretty clear. I'm voting for Ami. Okay. Oh, she does have long hair. I see the I see the pictures now. Yeah. Jay, who are you yeah, voting yeah. for? Um. Mike, to, get off of Rule Thirty Four. <laughs> How did you know? I can see it reflected in your in your. Uh, yeah, show you actually unit. can see it. Yeah, you can see the reflections back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's some wild stuff you're that's looking at. That's some there. wild hentai. Who um, knew? Who knew? Like Mike, why are you looking at NTR shit? That's just that's yeah. weird. Why are you looking at? Is that furry stuff? No, that's your reflection, my friend. Oh. Jay, who are you voting for? Vote, you silly boys. Um, just, to, just to make Cole have to decide uh, and decide a specific girl that I know he's going to vote for anyway, but just to make it fun, I'm going to vote for Eris. Mm. Against my better judgment, mm-hmm. there can be only one. Mm-hmm. And that Jay one Eris to move on. I know what's will be. here. I see it. Kawashima. Yeah. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Against my better judgment and thinking that we should go with the girl with the short hair. And red's my favorite color. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going mm-hmm. with Kawashima. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just feel like she'll be... Uh, she's more consistent. Yeah, she's now, more reliable, I think. She's more reliable. What about Asuka? Asuka? Uh, I'd say she's reliable, yeah. She's reliable, she kind of. She shows up. Okay, now here here we go. Here we go. We've got Asuka versus Nino Nakano. Ooh, both now, of these characters have been introduced. They need no intro- introduction. Mm-hmm. They need no introduction. And I I feel I, like the important thing here is uh, Nino's got that work experience. She does have the experience. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Asuka's basically a child soldier. She kind of is working. I guess. She is a soldier, but like she doesn't like... Customer service is a different industry than the military. Very true. Very true. I think in this situation, despite what we've talked about in previous uh, matchups, 
mental stability here. Who who mm-hmm. do we feel oh, is going to be more easy one? Yeah. I think I, I think this is a slam dunk for one of these characters in almost every category. Honestly, yeah, and that's Nino. I kind of agree. it's Nino. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> she's gonna work harder. She's gonna be nicer to the customer. She's passionate about the food industry. Well, oh, I she's mean, passionate she's, about the food industry. <laughs> well, I mean, she has that helps she has case. her own I've, restaurant at the end of the show, so I mean, but she's. I haven't like, seen passion on in kids like this <laughs> since <the> nineteen ninety four. <laughs> What's not what, what it was nineteen ninety four? Um, um, the New York Rangers won the Stanley Cup. Mm, what does mm-hmm. that have to do with passion? It, Hey man, it's a lot of passion. Hey, Do you remember passion. when Mark Messier lifted the cup? He's so excited. Yep. No, yeah. I don't. Ninety four was <laughs> no. <laughs> it was ninety four. Nineteen ninety four Winter Olympics. Yeah. In yeah. Uh, where were they? Yeah, and uh, Netscape Navigator was released in nineteen ninety four. Oh, excellent! Thanks, Metallica. Yeah. For ruining everything. What? Okay. Here we go. We've got Ami Kawashima. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We all know Ami. There's one here who hasn't even been oh, in a did we, single. Did we actually vote like on officially Nino moves on? Oscar yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, did, we didn't actually say it. I just want to clarify. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we got yeah. Ami versus Nino. Okay. This mm-hmm. is a tougher one. This is a tough one. Because they're very. This honestly ones. could be the final. In my opinion. Yeah. IMO. Uh, there's a few here that I think could. I think we've got strong candidates left. We only have four, five left. So we're wait. We're did spot here. did Hiragi get eliminated? I thought she did. Hiragi, uh, Kagami from Lucky Star, the second yes, one. She did. Oh, there's yes. only four left. Okay, so there's only four left. That was yeah. a slack in here. So Nino versus Ami. Now is yes. is can can either of you think of anything specific to put one of these over the top? I think really it's Nino has experience. That's really, I feel like that's the difference here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if that necessarily means she'd be better at it, but I think she at least has something on her resume that says she can do the customer service gig. Might also be easier to train because of the experience. Yeah. She's a little bit older as well. I feel like she's going to be a little bit more, uh, reliable something about her just strikes me as a bit more reliable than Ami. yeah 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 the only I, the thing that i actually kind of like could see swinging in ami's favor though mm-hmm. is she strikes me like because canonically the quints are kind of dumb right it's yeah. the whole premise of the that's how the anime it's, starts right it's not only that they're dumb it's more that like they're not good at their studies they're they're good at the one subject right yeah yeah but like i feel like ami's baseline like like when when you ask someone to repeat the pizza order and they've ordered a 14 topping pizza with extra cheese and light sauce and cuts to cut into squares you know what i mean which one of these two characters is most likely going to get that correct and i i kind of side towards ami on that honestly because I, I she seems like the the brighter bulb in the cabinet of light bulbs i also I do know. see her pulling out her phone and texting on that at work. Uh, well, yeah. I think Nino's Nino's definitely on her phone too at work. Uh, I feel like with the I experience, don't I don't think she's as prone. She definitely like has there's a possibility, but I don't think it's mm-hmm. as likely. Well, I just came up with a specific reason that I'm going to vote the way that I'm going to vote. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. Well, no, I I want I I will tell oh, you when I, I vote. Yeah. Oh, I don't okay. want this to okay. skew either of you. This well, is a that's very the whole point of this reason. discussion. Is this is a very personal reason, and it won't. I, okay. it, it won't skew. I either think of you. the thing that's kind of siding me against Nino here is yes, she does have experience in running her own little bake shop or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But that's very di- running your own little bake shop. That's a passion project. That's something you care about. Working a like a dead end job in a call center and you're like miserable and you're not loving it too much. That's a completely different thing. And I just can't see her sticking with that. And I just can't see her enjoying it and devoting herself to it in the same way. So mm. that kind of takes out the experience a little bit for me. I, I 
I think I'm still going. I, I'll just, I guess I'll say my vote now is going to be Ami unless one of you guys can convince me otherwise. Okay. I might change okay. it though. Because it, it, is, it is close. I, I just, that would be the thing that kind of sides me. Cole, I have another argument for you mm-hmm. uh, specifically. Nino cuts her hair short. <sighs> Yes, I know that was oh, gonna yeah. be you, dirty was, dangler. You that was gonna be <laughs> my my uh, rationale for my vote because okay. honestly, like both of them seem pretty similar to me. Mm-hmm. So at the they end are, of the day, yeah. I mean, I am a simp. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. and you are. I'm thinking with my lizard brain here, and uh, Nino have short hair, me yeah. like short hair. Yeah, ooga booga, mm-hmm. unga bunga. I vote Nino. I vote mm-hmm. Nino. Monk, mm-hmm. Monkey brain. net best girl. Net best girl. She's yeah. she's yeah. certified net best girl. She moves on and she Ami moves on. Does Nay move on? Ami. I'm actually. Ami. You know what? I'm kind of surprised that Cole went against his character because now he has one less character to get him a point. Can he get a point, Ivan? I can't actually? get any points. You no, can't get any I'm, points now. I'm out. You've lost. Out. You've lost your running. Yeah. Yeah. Nino Nakano again. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now we've got like two characters potentially that have barely been in this thing i know this is kind of crazy there's one that hasn't been in this thing yet yeah i know it just went nino again i'm sorry i'm gonna spin one more time i know hopefully we get an actual character there we go there he is there's the person everybody's been waiting for vegeta it's my guy prince Mm -hmm. of all prince of the saiyans vegeta uh Uh, mike tell me about vegeta listen vegeta is the prince of the saiyans Mm -hmm. and while he is a quintessential tsundere yes let me mm-hmm. tell you this. Mm-hmm. We're talking, we're not talking like Dragon Ball Z era is Vegeta. Mm-hmm. We're talking Dragon Ball Super, current day Vegeta. With the mustache. Talking, hold on, hold on. This is, this is vital information. Are we talking mustached Vegeta? <laughs> no. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, this is conflicting information. This is like I vital like information, by the way. It's your it's character. My, uh, I don't He's working at a pizza shop. Vegeta. He's working at a pizza shop. Yeah, I mean the mustache would go a long way. It would. It would. Okay, mustached Vegeta. It is. Okay, okay. excellent. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Um, the thing is, Vegeta. That's in. When, when did he have? When did he have this mustache? <laughs> is that GT only? I've never seen this before. No, it was in Super. I think it was a gag. They had it for. He had it for like. I've seen the beard. Before. A scene. Okay. That is him and Goku both grow see. mustaches. Yeah. This is crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's got the full goatee going on. Uh, he is incredibly intelligent. He is incredibly mm-hmm. hardworking. Mm-hmm. He does have a bit of an attitude, as every character on this list does, <laughs> yeah. to put it lightly. Mm-hmm. But he's got to pay the bills. He loves his wife and child. He needs this job. Because what else is he? He's not going to be what, killing aliens. Does not pay the bills, guys. You know it's what true. pays the bills? Answering you know what does the pay the bills? In a call center. You know what does what, pay the bills? His incredibly bills. rich wife. Yeah, that's true. Who <laughs> owns Capsule Corp? <laughs> like the biggest, <laughs> basically the Amazon of that world. Uh, uh, also, I mean, he also has the scouter that says his power levels over nine thousand. So that's that that true. Power levels over nine thousand, but his is probably true. is certainly yeah. over nine thousand yeah. now. Too. Oh God, yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, here's, here's the thing. Imagine Vegeta at that little desk taking pizza orders. That's pretty funny. <laughs> He's got that's one of those headsets pretty funny. on. You, that's that's well so, worth you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of that Spider-Man meme where he's sitting at a desk. Mm-hmm. Well, I just picture him like kind of like hunched over the desk, like, you know, like <laughs> chicken poking the keys. Like, uh, like Bob index from typing. The Incredibles. Oh, yeah. Exactly. He would, he would have, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He would have no idea how to work that keyboard, but yeah. he would try. He would try his best. Would the Prince of Saiyans willingly stoop himself down to the role of measly pizza order taker? I think if it's for Bulma and Trunks and the, whatever the other kid's name is, I think he would. <laughs> I think, well, what is the other kid's name? Goten? No, that's Goten. No, no, it's Goten. some other underwear pun. Uh, Trunks. Brie? Brief, yeah. Yep. Is it brief? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. No, is that or is that Bulma's last name? Quick, this is important. We yeah, need to know. Up. Um, he, I I think he is 
like the the super pan? Fa- oh pan pan no pan is gohan's daughter's name uh gohan and videl's daughter's name is pan uh, R- riveting riveting podcast riv- i don't know this is <laughs> hurting my brain i mean uh, here's the any, other thing his name yeah. he's named after vegetable right mm. he like Bola. Right, like that's Bola. his thing um and vegetables are uh toppings on pizza and i think it's <laughs> If you think about it, like, <laughs> let me put it this way. Because the, the, what's the competition here? We got, uh, Nino, we got Nino versus yeah. Vegeta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just close your eyes for me, boys. Okay. Yeah. They're closed. Yeah, they're absolutely closed. And not open. Yeah. Hi. You've reached Nino Nakano's pizza joint. I'm voting Nino. I'm going to take your order. I'm voting yeah, Nino. Sweet, versus. Sweet voice. <laughs> hey, sweet you've reached Vegeta's pizza joint. <laughs> what can I get for you? <laughs> what an excellent Vegeta impression. It's hey, it's your me. boy Vegeta. <laughs> it's a me, Vegeta. It's a me. It's like it's like pseudo Italian. The name. It's made to be. Well, Nino is pretty Italian sounding. Yeah. Oh crap! Nino's hey, like it's, an actual Italian. Hey, it's yeah, me, that Nino. Is <laughs> it's your boy Nino. <laughs> That's pretty Italian. Dang it! Yeah. Dang it! You got me there, Cole. Yeah. You got me. <laughs> Listen, valiant fight for Vegeta. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I think we know where this one's going. I'm yeah. unironically okay. still going Vegeta. Honestly. Really? Unironically, yeah. I truly believe this in my heart. I would rather okay. have Vegeta in this case. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going Nino. I'm going Nino. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's okay. My vote doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. So we've got two left. Let me spin the wheel here. Yeah. Why are mm-hmm. we spinning the wheel? So we've got Hitachi. Well, we need to make sure. Gohara. Mm-hmm. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, we can't rig it. That's right. Yeah, yeah no, we can't. Yeah, so Hitar- Hitagi Senjogahara is going up against. Oh, Nino Nakano. Oh, mm-hmm. okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So here we go. Here we go. Where it all mm-hmm. started and where it all ends. Mm-hmm. Yes. Senjogahara versus Nino Nakano. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, Jay's coming Sanjou away Gahara- with a point here. Senjogahara oh, no, does Sanjou have Gahara's a stapler. Mics. She do have that stapler. She has a stapler. Nino, Nino have short... Oh, no. Senju Gahara have short hair, too. They both too. have... St- yeah. yeah. They both Uga have short hair. This yeah. Uga Booga point is null now. Cole. So, he, uh, Cole, I want you to close your eyes again. I want you both to close okay. your eyes, actually. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I'll okay. definitely close them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I see, I see that they're closed. Great. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want I'm you to blind. picture answering the phone, or th- mm-hmm. someone answering the phone going, Hi, my name's Nino Nakano. How can I take your order? Mm-hmm. Or how can I help you or something? Yeah, and no, then a, a much more a much more stone cold. Hey, I'm Senju Gahara. How can I help? Uh, how can I help you? I like mm. that better. I yeah, like that better. Down yeah. to business. It's business time. Yeah, because I'm not calling to flirt with. I want a pie. I don't want none of that pie. For me, look, man. For <laughs> me, I'm. I'd much rather get like a much more cheerful, upbeat sound because it sounds like I want to work here rather than yeah, I'm just here for the money. Mm. I don't know, man. I, I don't, don't care I why you work you on here. <laughs> yeah, I just want my pie. I would, yeah, I would if, gladly use. Yeah, the but app. if I'm I'd getting, if I'm getting, you. if I'm getting my pie and I'm calling in, right? Then, like, I at least want to hear some positivity. I don't want to hear that, like, yeah, downer. Yeah, like, you're saying. yeah, okay, Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> he says to yeah. the youngest one on the podcast. If if you're dealing, if you're dialing up the pizza hotline in this case, hello. Oh, oh, you're not cheery enough. Also, also, um, put let's a just, smile on let's your just, face, sweetie. Let's People just put, like you more. Let's just, let's just put the. <laughs> let, you know what? Mike had an argument last time, so let's do the same mm. argument. Nino, okay, great Italian name. Mm. Dang it! Oh, that is Hitagi Sanjagahara. Not that Italian. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't, have, she doesn't have to have her name on the, 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 the billboard. No, no, no. We can't do that. You can't use that argument once and then not yeah. accept it the next time. It's, it is yeah. true. Um, Nino Nakano. I Hitagi. think it's important to remember that Hitagi is certainly smarter than Nino. That's true. Nino does have the experience, though. Remember? She, I, she's, she bakes. She doesn't take orders. Remember well, she when she works at a restaurant, so she would take orders. Remember when Senjo Gahara has short hair and she's got that toque? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, very cute. Senjo Gahara mm-hmm. gets my vote. Oh, just for the toque? Just for the toque. 
I I'm genuinely kind of mixed up on this one. I don't know who to vote for, but the podcast must come to an end at some point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with someone after J votes. Okay. <laughs> Remember oh, when goodness. Nino had those like little frilly things on the side of her hair that looked really yeah. cute? Yeah, she that was has really this... cute. Yeah, but like it's her thing and it's adorable. I'm going Nino. <laughs> it's her whole thing. She has the ribbons. Yeah, and She's it's got adorable. The, the butterfly ribbon mm-hmm. thing. And she, yeah. Yeah, God damn it, that is adorable. Dang it, that is adorable. <laughs> uh, do you remember the time when Senja Gahara revealed the, the whole thing about the constellations when they were in the car and her dad was right there and it was super weird and awkward, but also like a nice touching moment in the first season of Monogatari? No. Uh, <laughs> no. Do you remember R- Senja Gahara being best girl? No. No. No, I don't remember hmm. that. Not coming up with good reasons to vote here then. No. Nino Nakano Pizza Jointa. Hitagi <laughs> <laughs> Senju Gahara Pizza Jointa. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't know what the tongue. No, yeah. no, it really doesn't. Uh, Nino Nino kind of rolls Nino off gets the my vote. Okay. Okay. Nino yeah, Nino wins. Vote. Yeah. Nino yeah. wins. That's okay. I mean I had to vote against Senju myself. Ga- okay. Senju Gahara doesn't deserve the win. I mean, for such a petty reason as she look cute in toque. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. No. No, uh, you know, that was a bit weak. That was a bit weak. Yeah. Yeah. That was very yeah. simpy. Yeah. That's very simpy. Hey, man, it's late. It's the, anime, it's the Annie Simpy podcast. Yeah. 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 That's what we do. That's what we that's do. Our and that's thing. why. It's 11 11. Make a wish. Make a wish. I wish this podcast would go into its ending section. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. well, that's your wish. I do get my wish. Uh, you can, if you enjoyed this podcast, blah, blah, blah. Uh, follow us on social media at AnyProPod. That's A N I P R O P O D. You can follow each of us individually. That's me, Cole, Jay, Mike. Uh, each of our thingamajigs is down in the thingamajig down below. Uh, leave a like, review, subscribe, and tell a friend all about us because we do a pretty decent podcast and we think more people should listen to it. If you really like us, come join our Discord. Links to everything is at our website, antipropod.com. And if you really, really, really like us, why don't you consider supporting us on Patreon? Uh, you get extra benefits and stuff. Why don't I tell you <laughs> some of the name of the people who do support us on Patreon? Like Mr. Family Guy, 36. Oh Elijah boy. Wood. Brain Dead B-Dog. Oh, Super so Mexi. Peach. Frama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, Kratos. We keep forgetting about Kratos. <laughs> who deleted is, him off the end of this thing? What the he heck? was never on here. Oh. He's at the, there he is. I found him. Oh, there he is. He's on the next there's a, there's page. There's a page break. Oh, the worst We're sorry, Kratos. Things. We're so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Kratos! Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, if, if you consider joining us on Patreon, you get uh, extra benefits like early episode access, bonus episodes, mm-hmm. access mm-hmm. to our lost episodes from way back when, when we used to be less good at this. Hard to believe. Three I know. Like episode ten episodes one. ago, yeah. Yeah. Uh and uh yeah, other other fun fun things, other fun benefits. An extra uh, vote for our listeners' choice reviews. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lots mm-hmm. of stuff. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Uh we do have reviews coming up. We I think next week we're gonna be doing the manga review for smoking behind the supermarket with you. And we've got High School of the Dead coming up within the next couple weeks as well. So mm-hmm. look forward to those. We'll be back next week, but until we come back next week, we say as we do at the end of every episode of the Anime Protagonist Podcast. Mm, bye-bye. 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 <laughs> oh, no, that's the wrong. <laughs> Can you put that as the fade-out music? <laughs> oh, I can't even think of that song. Have you ever seen that meme of that, that guy singing in a pizza restaurant? He's, uh, I'll, I'll There's a... Um, when the moon hits your eye like... <laughs> there is a moon pie. in the sky... <laughs> Cole, Cole, for the uh, um, I like that I'm still music, recording this. For the break yeah, music, can you have like content. the um, Spider-Man Two pizza music playing? <laughs> <laughs> isn't that isn't that the same song? Isn't that that's Amore? No, 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 no it's not. Oh. I'm I'm okay. I'm stopping recording. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.